L.O.P. We are back again. Good evening. Yeah, I think we've got a fairly good one tonight. We've got we've been spoiled. I think the Star Wars gods have spoiled us fucking rotten. Yep. Not so much for me, but we'll go into that in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you right, anti- if, if, Yeah, I know, I know. Not, not anything. Not even a. Mm, not nah, a, nah, nothing. No, no. Not, not a sign of a best bin hand in no, sight. Hey? If you're loving, nothing. if you're loving your Mando and your Clone Wars and all that stuff, then you know, you've uh, you've just pimped out your wallet to Hot Toys for the next few years. Um, yeah, but, I know I have. Fuck yeah. me, I know I have. I've I've been on a pre-order in binge because of all the cool stuff that's come out. Yeah, I, I just every time I see something, I'm like, oh, Ian's going to want that. And I never used to pre-order fuck all. I never used to pre-order fuck all. Now I'm like, yep, I'll have that, I'll have that, I'll have that. <laughs> but loads of stuff, mate, it's all coming out the same time. Yeah. I noticed when I was looking, because some stuff I didn't pre-order, because I looked and went, well, that's coming out, like, from... June, June to August, mm-hmm. and I was like, "But so's like Batman, so's like the, uh, the um, Dark Trooper, so's like all the shit I pre-ordered yeah. before." And I was like, "There's the, no, there's no chance, Bobber, all that." I'm like, "No, I'd be dropping like a, probably like a grand a month because of <laughs> everything coming out at once." Yeah, yeah. So I was like, "No, no fucking way, Pedro." So I've had to be selective. I say that, but I haven't been selective. I have literally pre-ordered every, absolutely <laughs> fucking everything. Well, you're so, turning to Steve now, aren't you? Just pre-order everything just in case, and then you can decide just when case. you get it. You know, and you, yeah. you, you move I mean, it the, on, so. there's some stuff that if you've got a, even a passing interest in, yeah. just jump on it, because yeah. yeah, yeah. you ain't going to see it again. Cool. Not, so, not at that price, no. No, definitely not. Definitely no. not. So let's start off with a word from our sponsor. Only Fools and Collecting is brought to you by Watto's Scrapyard. They 3D print parts for your hard-to-come-by Kenner vehicles. They 3D print 1 12th and 1 6th scale head sculpts from a massive back catalogue. If there is a particular character you want he can design and 3D print it for you for a reasonable price. Check him out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you Mr. Watto. Um, yeah, yep. like we say every week, go for it. Anything you want done. He is the king of animated. Um, I love his sculpts. Yep. So, yeah, 12, hit him up. If you... 12 scale, 6 scale. Um, Any scale enough. you want. Yeah, he's he's even we're... done one to one. Has he? He's done, yeah, he's shown me some one to one stuff he's oh, done, wow. and it looks oh, fucking wow. awesome. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, but, really yeah, good. I think with some of these releases we've got coming up to talk about now, is some great fodder for um, some some head sculpts from, uh, from Watto. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. So let's get into new this fortnight. What you got then, Pete? Okay, well I, I, I've titled mine Sabers, Sabers, Sabers. Um, just before I start, so uh, even to Toy Mafia, Scott Bradley, Ryan Smith, welcome to the show. Good to have you. I've been chatting to Scott earlier. He said he was looking forward to the show. Um, I said it's going to be a bit of a monster with all the Star Wars stuff, but. Uh, it's a fucking all good. beast today, mate. All good. Yeah, so anyway, um, Sabres. So I... Uh, these are obviously the, the CCFL Sabres, the cold cathode, whatever, flesh and tube jobbies. Um, I tried to make some a few years ago, and I, I, I don't know what. I was obviously having a bad a bad, a bad, bad spell because I I just kept breaking the tubes. Cause obviously, they're, they're a really thin, delicate glass tube that you take out of the plastic casing. Um, but then I'd seen some other, some a lot of new people on the groups making them. So I thought, you know, just Scott, um, I'm going to make one. I'm making one for Scott. He wants a, 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 a Luke Jedi one. So, um, going to, going to get that sorted. Um, I see a lot of people doing them. And I can't come with it. It can't be that difficult. What was I doing wrong? So, um, and somebody, um, guy called, um, Ruben, I'll just get his name right. Low. Uh, yeah. Ruben Low. Well, loud, loud, load, yeah. Loud, um, load. I bought that's who I bought my Mythos um, Obi Wan off, and mm. and he'd made a couple of sabers. So I sort of said, no, you know what? What's the secret? And uh, he said, oh, it's not that difficult. And he showed me there was um, there's a video, a tested video by the um, 
guy that's quite often the the Chinese guy, whatever that's on with. Um, yeah, uh, I know the one. Yeah, um, Adam and uh, Adam Savage. Yeah, so he did it, and it was just like, yeah, that's really easy. So um, I ordered the stuff in, and uh, I've now made ten of them. <laughs> so, nice. Um, yeah, and it, it, it's just simple, isn't it? I mean, I started off soldering the links, and I couldn't get on with it. I, I don't know why, but the solder just wasn't working very well. And I thought, well, yeah, it doesn't really need it. You can twist the wires around. Um, mm. And I was taping them to start with, but then I, I bought some... Um, hey, Danny Lee, sweet Danny Lee. Good evening. Um, I just bought this shrink wrap tubing, so transparent tube. Mm. Um which I was I bought to put over the blades just to because they have um a a very thin wire that runs right down from the top down to the base so I thought well yeah. I'll get some of this stuff to just seal it all and I thought well, actually all I need to do is twist the cables and then just heat shrink the the tube over yeah. the over the joins they're not going to go anywhere and then just wrap a bit of tape round and uh yeah brilliant so I think I've broken one out of you know out of the 10 or 11 or whatever. And um, yeah, I've kind of got quite good at it now. Um, I think the first, uh, I did a Qui-Gon one. So my, my Obi-Wan there's got, he's got Qui-Gon and Anakin, Anakin's sabers on the go and he's got his on his belt. Mm. And I tried to do the, the first one I tried to drill was the, the Qui-Gon one that comes with that figure. And yeah. uh, I don't know why, but it didn't like it. And it just blew up into... <laughs> four or five pieces and just flew all across the room um and at that point i realized that um probably having the drill on high speed wasn't a good idea because it it's does tend to melt it. the plastic as well so i was like right okay i fucked that up but i'd, I'd bought the the hot toys one so i drilled mm. that and that's brilliant the, the quiet one was the easiest one because it's literally not even the light up one it's hollow all the way through up until yeah. the, the bottom. So that was a good one to start with. And uh, yeah, so I've done Qui-Gon. I've done uh, three of the uh, Luke's original Anakin one. I've done two Darth Vader uh, and two of Luke Jedi ones. So um, yeah, cool. they're great. Um, so yeah, I mean, if good. anybody... Yeah, they do look they do look good. And obviously I've got them all wired up on, on um, uh remote plugs and stuff so there's no faffing about with anything it's all just on with the click of a button um, looks like there's a reward code oh high ground high I have ground. the high ground um i have I'm, I, I'm not i'm not proposing to go into business with this because I, I, it, it's a bit fiddly but i do have uh two or three green blades left so if anyone does want one give me a shout so, I'm d- so the wires where do where do they run from so you've got um, so basically the tube has um, two terminals. So a terminal at the end, at the very at the far end, and a terminal at the bottom end. Um, there's a cable that runs um, from the top, and that runs all the way down to the bottom. And then becomes a it goes into um, a little kind of brass little joint thing, and then it comes out to a white cable. And then you've got another white cable coming from the bottom. So you've got your positive and your negative, if you like. Mm-hmm. So then all you need to do is when you buy the tubes, they come with um, a little blue box, which is, a, I think it's a DC to AC converter. So you um, you cut the cables on the, because obviously the cable's only about that long. So you cut the cable there, cut the cable with the little connectors on that plug into the box, put on whatever, however long a lead you want, you know, 10 meters if you, if you need to. Um, join those on and then the converter box just has a, a positive and a negative and all you do is you buy um they're like laptop charger plugs about seven eight quid on on amazon yeah um chop the chop the little um round uh connector they have that goes into your laptop do the wires plug it in so it's as easy as that. All you've got to make sure is obviously that you just um, isolate the the two wires. Um, so, so do, they you, don't do short you run out. it? Do you run it up his sleeve or something so you hide the wire coming out? I haven't done to be honest. You could do, but um, all I do is if there's any white cable left coming out, I just put some black tape on it. And mm. to be honest, unless I'm doing most of my figures have got the sabers down by their side there, 
So you just tuck it in behind, and you don't see it. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could run it up up and down the sleeves, but I haven't bothered to be honest. And and um, looking at them now, I can't see any of the cables. So, um, but yeah, you, obviously you could do, and you can and you can choose. You can either run the cable right out through the bottom of the sabre, mm. yeah. So you drill all the way through, or you can come out the side, depending on. So you might think, well. Um, side would probably give you more options wouldn't it it yeah, it does yeah if you come out the back then it's fine if you've got say obi-wan in the in there because it's coming out the back but if you mm. come out the side then you've got you've got more options because the hand will will cover it up if you if you turn it you know so the hand has got the mm. kind of the, the cable so yeah it's quite neat that you know the way you can get it to and obviously I, I kind of developed my techniques and got better as i as i went along and i redid some bits on the first couple um but yeah, yeah, it's um it's surprisingly easy. And when people are selling them for like sixty, seventy quid a go, mm. I was thinking like, well, I'm not paying yeah, that with, for them. And you got without, a, and you got without the hilt. Yeah, you got to send the hilt as well. Um, yeah. and I thought, well, I want like, well, I've done ten there. Um, you know, six, seven hundred quid. And I thought, no, I, I'm not doing that. But I'll have a go myself. You know, and I mm. and uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's um it's worked out really well. I mean, I'm quite happy to. Maybe maybe I'll do a a how to one day. I do a tutorial video and, and I'd be break tempted the market, to give it a go but... with one of my spare yeah um, Luke sabers. Yeah, definitely. The, one, the it, ones it's gone. It, it's the wires though. I'm never. I I think it'd be great for when I take photos. Yeah, but I probably wouldn't have it in the display case because it's mm -hmm. something else I've got to switch on. Yeah, but if you get all, I've got all these. I've just got these um like remote plugs. So mm. I've got you know five different plugs there, so I just hit all of those and everything just comes on. So mm. it's um, but yeah, I was going to say um, the best ones to use and off is often the the spare one that people have is use the one that's that's the light up arm because yeah. they're yeah, crap anyway. The yeah, and mm. then you still you're not fucking up your nice standalone hilt, um, mm. and they're a bit easier to drill through anyway because they're. They're the pretty much hollow. Anyway. They've got they've got electronics in it, but the drill goes through those quite easily. Um, so that's what mm. I've told um, Scott. And you know, send me the send me the light up arm one, and I'll use that one. Um, but yeah, so you know, as I say, if anyone wants a Luke one, I've got a couple of green ones left. So just drop me a PM if you if you fancy one. Cool, cool. So how about and yourself? Uh, so. so thanks for that code. Um, it. It is oh. now added three pound fifty to my account. Oh, nice! <laughs> Every little helps and all that. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I, I've I've done not done too badly. I have. I was a bit bored, and I went and I spent money I don't have. <laughs> and I got the fortieth uh, anniversary Boba Fett because in my head I was like, I need an Empire Boba to go with my Empire stuff, mm -hmm. and I'd kind of conveniently forgot how shit the return of the jedi one was without having without doing anything to it mm -hmm. um yeah so i was really looking forward to it and to be fair on sideshow it turned up i ordered it on the first and it turned up the day after the bank the day after the bank holiday on the tuesday no, that's good yeah so super quick um i think it went with dhl this time so it was only like 35 quid delivery so all in all mm -hmm. it was about with with the fees, it was about two sixty, which I didn't think was too bad. No, no, um, it's not. Actually, scrap that. It's fucking appalling. <laughs> but in <laughs> yeah, today's it's, world, it, yeah, yeah, in today's it's world, it's not yeah. too bad. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I uh, it turned up and I opened it up and I instantly fucking hated lost it. my rag with it and hated <laughs> it. I was literally going to pack it back up and sell it because the hands kept popping off. You couldn't cover up. Now I'm. With armoured figures, right, there is no excuse for not being able to cover up wrist pegs. No, no, at all, as far as I'm concerned. Be one of the big bonuses of them is, yeah. Exactly. Couldn't cover the wrist pegs. Um, you couldn't have him... Having him hold his rifle was an absolute cunt. So mm -hmm. I managed to scrape off a load of the paint. And I don't know why Hot Toys do this, but what they do is they paint the fingers... Mm -hmm. And the rest of the glove is the is the plastic colour of the, the glove. Yeah. If nothing is going to touch the rest of the hand, make 
the hand, the paint, the the majority of the hand, the painted bit, and mm-hmm. the bits that are going to rub against stuff, make that the fucking plastic. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I was I wasn't I was pissed off, and the fucking stupid undersuit made him look as though he was wearing like nineteen. 19- 20s victor well not even 1920s like victorian like he was wearing a victorian bathing suit underneath his armor <laughs> because it all kind of bunched up at the knee and i was like yeah and it came with one of those giant fucking stands that are just pointless so i was like oh i fucking hate this um oh and he couldn't even look down couldn't look down i was like this is fucking nonsense so i was instantly pissed off but i did really like the box um, yeah, oh, nice. I thought the Kenner box was really cool. Oh yeah, you've looks... got this the retro box, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and it looks really good up in the loft. Um, <laughs> but the to be fair, like this kind of stuff is cool. So the the, the additional helmet you get is pretty cool with the yeah. eyelets on the top, and it's weathered more. I really like that. Never going to use it, but really like it. Um, so and the gun, the other gunlets you get are pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, but then if I dress it up like that and I put it in with my um, with my Empire stuff it's just it's not quite going to look right no but, so I don't know whether or not if I do keep it whether or not I just sell those bits because I'm never going to use yeah, it yeah I did because I had the original release of that one like, I just sold the extra bits um, yeah yeah so I I stuck it on the shelf and I kept looking at it thinking you piece of shit um <laughs> And then, in the end, I went, oh, fuck it. So, I stripped it all to bits, took it all back down to the, the base figure, took the undersuit off completely and put it put it all back on. Now, mm-hmm. the only thing with that is that the little nappy section of armour yeah. will not fit back on. Right. Okay. So, I was like, oh, because he's too, too, too skinny. So, put, so, I cut the legs off of the undersuit, so it was just the torso, yeah. mm-hmm. and stuck it, stuck it all back on pull the armour back on, and that appeased me with the leg department. That sorted those out. Mm -hmm. Um, Oh, another thing I fucking really dislike about this is Return of the Jedi, the armour is solid. It's a a hard piece of plastic along the top here, along over the collarbone, so it doesn't bend. Mm -hmm. Now, that's great because it doesn't bend, but also it's a pain in the ass because all of the armour is that hard plastic. So yeah. including that like nappy armor bit. So when you go to body swap mm-hmm. here or to take the fat suit off, you have to break that. With this one, which is kind of good, is that they've learned from that and gone right, fuck it, and they've made that a soft, a soft kind of malleable plastic, same as the the collarbone bit. Um, the problem is, is where it's then stuck to the suit. It's it. It doesn't work. It's just pinned, so it kind of goes in and out. And it looks like we've lost Peter. Uh, oh well, it's only P. Um, so yeah, so that I didn't wasn't a big fan of in the slightest. Um, but I thought, right, okay. So I stripped all that off cut down the undersuit and then I thought right I've got to sort out the gauntlets what the fuck am I going to do about them now on my Return of the Jedi one there's a little lip so when you look at it you've got a it's kind of like a a little like rectangle section just there so what happens is when he bends his wrist it pushes the gauntlet down and you've got that big fuck off horrible um Peg. Um, oh, is he back? Here he is. I don't know what happened there. He's back. Nah, nah. It's all that porn eating up your bandwidth. Yeah, I don't, it was weird. Something yeah. where I like went bang and it all, all everything, all the USB stuff went off. Ah, but. that doesn't sound good. No. No. It's all right. When, now. Normally, when your computer goes bang, it's a bit of a problem. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I was just saying about. Sorry. How much I just tested this figure. That's why right, I heard so, you. I heard you. I got I got everything. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, me. I was just just not. Yeah. So I cut down the gauntlet so that when you bent the wrist, it fo- it effectively sat in that little groove. Uh huh. And then um, that way I could then pull the the gauntlet down and it and its wrists were fine. The other gauntlet on the other side isn't a problem 
because mm-hmm. it extends to about his fingertips. Yeah, yeah. It's it's no no worries at all. And then the Wookiee braids, right? What a pile mm-hmm. of shit. No matter what I did with them, they just fucking sat out right like that. <laughs> yeah. So I had to soak those to get them to sit exactly how they fucking wanted. And then um, the shitting backpack. Oh, well, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Hot Toys are the biggest bunch of cunts ever because they just haven't learned. Everyone has a... Uh, what the fuck? When it comes to Action's Prophecy, does Rise of Skywalker get Return of the Jedi? And out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> haven't really thought about it. Uh, no. No, probably not. Um, yeah, so the... <laughs> Backpack, the piece of shit backpack. Now, they put a magnet in the backpack and they put a magnet on the back of the armour, right? Both of them are the shittiest things you've ever seen in your life. It barely grips to it, and then you've got to fight your way through those horrible straps. Mm -hmm. Um, You've got a little earth magnet and just plumped it on the back and then stuck it to the back of the armour. You literally just stick it on, it picks up both the magnets and plop, you're done. I saw um, it. So yeah. I thought, I don't have to fuck about with that. So the only thing I want to do, if I do keep it, is I'm taking the wires out of the cape and soaking that. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're closer. They just sit flatter. Yeah. Um, and then a bit of weathering. And then there may be a couple of other bits. But what I did do was ditch the Hot Toys hands, went back to the Sideshow hands, because you get way more. Did you still um, have that figure then? So I bought off of Jason Darren a big job lot of old parts Mm -hmm. and there were loads of like Mando bits. There was a set of the Empire um, hands and with the Empire version, you get two sets of feet. You get these like bent feet that's like he's running. So I've got a set of those for it as well. So I ended up um, just swapping the hands out to those because the hands are better and the colours better on them as well. They're a lot lighter. I was going to say that the hands are pretty crap on this one. Yeah, and this they're rock hard as well. It's mm-hmm. really hard because that was very similar to um, Cody. Like the hands were just right. rock hard, and they gave you these giant grips to to hold stuff with. So it was a pain in the ass. Mm. Um, so yeah, so I'm still on the fence with right with Bobby. Okay. <laughs> um, he might. So I really like mine, up. and I don't think it's any different. It must be exactly the same as one I've got. I think um, that the problem is because I did a fair bit to. My Return of the Jedi, mm-hmm. bother. It's kind of. It, I know I must sound like a twat because it's very unfair to compare the two. Um, but the Jed. And don't get me wrong. My Return of the Jedi one is an ass of a figure to pose and piss yeah. about with because of pegs and shit like that trying to hide it. Um, but I just think it just looks better. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is give this the same treatment I've given that. Have them both side by side. I might even, to make it look that much different, is put that additional stuff on. And then make my decision. Because I also swapped the base out because I had the old Sideshow stand as well, which I yeah, think is miles yeah. better. Which than... is great, yeah. But then you don't do your light up, so you're losing the best feature of it. So at the light up, don't even work on it. <laughs> Fair um, enough. <laughs> Not losing out on that one then. Uh, in CB. Yeah. If you... Hi, mate. So the fact you like box. That Sorry, say yes. I shall probably have to. Yes, I will figure that out. <laughs> the thing is, I'm on. I'm on. A, I'm on a single laptop, so it's very hard to to drag other stuff up. Um, but yes, I shall put a post up later. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm glad that turned up. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that was that was Boba, which I'm still on the fence about. And then um, I got an old lady figure, an old lady dolly. Um, I got general. Whoosh. Yes, oh, yes, I got flying layer. Yeah, um, <laughs> got old lady flying layer. Um, I I've wanted this for a while, um, and I've only really wanted to pick it up if it was cheap. Mm-hmm. It's never going to be cheap anymore. Um, so I think there was a website in the UK. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it, it, they had it for Kapow. Kapow toys. Yeah, yeah. Kapow they had it once for about 150 quid, and I thought, "Fuck me, I'm going to get that because that's relatively cheap." Uh, as soon as I got it, it was sold out. So I was like, "F." 
fuck me. No flying layer for Ian. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then Craig, Craig Gant, who we know, who parts lots of stuff out. I've had yeah. a few bits and pieces off him recently, and he was saying he had some Star Wars stuff that he can't part out because people aren't going to want the, the parts. No, which, no. to be fair, looking at Leia, who's going to want some old lady shriveled hands? No one's yeah. really going to want the dress, and I don't no. know what the fuck people would want the head the head for. No. <laughs> like, um, but the... Yes, I agree. The um, the head scalp on that figure is great. Yeah, it is. It's shrink ray. Um, it is absolutely fucking shrink ray. Mm. Um, so there's not really much I can do pose-wise. This is just it slapped on my desk when it turned up. Um, but the idea is to have it displayed with the older versions of the characters. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm that that you was gotta very have the, you gotta have the three if you if you're collecting the, the older figures, yeah, definitely. The thing is now I'm looking and every I so I've got like Jedi Return of the Jedi versions, I've got Empire versions, and I've got the old crinkly ball sag ver- versions. Yeah. Yeah. Um but I'm kinda like um I've only got one Chewbacca. Mm-hmm. And I'm kinda thinking if I can pick another one up cheap, it's probably oh, worth getting luck. another Chewbacca. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Even those fucking horrendous Force Awakens ones. Are yeah, I mean, expensive. the New Hope ones, because I, 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 I'd I, always pick up another Chewie if I, if I got one, but I mean, they're going for, I've seen them go for 320, 330 on the groups lately. It's a lot of money. Yeah, I know, yeah. Ian, just get the old man Chewie. Yeah, I know, but it's. I'd have I've to got, do shitloads to the muzzle. Yeah, I've got it. I've got one because I wanted one mm. to do my uh, Empire one with the backpack, and I wasn't going to. Even then, I think the, the the New Hope ones were going for you know two eighty odd. So obviously, I've got that. I bought the double pack, didn't I? Because I sold you the hand, and um, I did some of the mods, and it, it it's a lot. It's easy to get. It's not too difficult to get him looking a lot better. I, I mm. didn't do the full. You know, take the jaw out and all that kind of thing. But um, I did a few of the little, the little things, and it and it, it looks a hell of a lot better. It's nowhere near as good as the uh, the first one, but mm. um, you know, it served its purpose for that. And I think it cost me about hundred quid. So um, in the end, so it wasn't... so whisper. When is the Skywalker bloodline meant to fulfill the prophecy of Sidious as a clone? Uh, didn't think Sidious was a clone. Um, that was Snoke. I'm really confused, and, and it's all a bit random. It, yeah, it's, it's kind of come out of nowhere. Yeah. Um, so I didn't, and also I didn't think it was a Skywalker bloodline that was meant to fulfil it. I thought that was pretty much Anakin, who kind of one way of looking at it is he kind of did bring balance to the Force. They had thousands of years of kind of the Jedi in charge, and then they had well a few years of the Empire. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Uh, is there much difference between the two mm, Chewies? Hello. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Quite. Quite a few. The um, the uh, OT Chewie's really good, and yep. the Force Awakens one is a little bit ropey. Um, Ryan, I was hoping we get some OT announcements. Yeah. Just, yeah. I must admit, I was a little bit disappointed we weren't getting yeah, more see, of uh, I mean, yeah. the visual. Yeah. I mean, we talk about best been handled a lot, but I think you know. Up, right up there is a is a chewy with the with the three pair backpack, you know. I'll tell a... you what. I'll tell you what we mentioned. I'll, we'll talk about it later when we get to Grievous. But the amount of times people have been going, I'm going. Ah, oh, I'm not getting this. I'm going to hold out for the Hot Toys version. You'll be fucking holding out a long time. You can stick it on the shelf next year. Fucking Hot Toys best been hand. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah people. Are, yeah. Um, but you know, obviously, that would be the a, a good opportunity for people to get. Chewy that didn't get it originally and don't want to, you know, pay an absolute fortune, but yeah, yeah, cool. So, I think you've done well with your sabers, and I've done moderately well with the piece yep. of shit bobber. And <laughs> I just can't believe how much I didn't like the figure. I was so looking forward to it, and I was like, well, this is shit. Um, yeah, but yeah, so let's move on to. <laughs> New releases. The fuck is it? Did you get your What's certificate? certificate? What's that for? What certificate? My hundred meters? <laughs> no idea. Um, Scott Bradley, I want C3PO. Yeah. Yes, yes, everyone does. 
absolutely everyone does. Um, but anyway, new releases. We digress. Uh, so we had the Hot Toys Court Sale Spider Man. Uh, this was released in Hong Kong and will set you back four hundred and thirty five pounds. Um, this got a lot of hate. Um, yeah, a lot of hate um, because of the shoulders and the unmasked portrait, which mm-hmm. people said looked shit. Um, I'm assuming these people's guide dogs told them it looked shit because <laughs> yeah. I can't see yeah, a problem. No, me neither. Me neither. No, no. Ah, it was Ian C B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> um, yeah, I and for four hundred and thirty-five pound, I don't actually think that's that bad for a quarter scale. Obviously, you no. got postage on top of that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, I, yeah, I, I don't see that many I personally I don't have that many complaints about it I think um, no no and, and Justin opened his up didn't he on the um, CW show the other week and, mm. and you know and he was quite impressed with it first impressions and it looked looked good to me I mean I, I think it's a bit of an odd one because it's a bit of a standalone isn't it there's no yeah there's not a lot else there's not a lot of quarter scales out there and um, uh, yeah it's, um, it's an interesting one but uh, I, I think it looks fine yeah, yeah, I, I like. Again, it comes with one of those giant fucking stands. Yeah, um, yeah. Like my my Vader one, I've split into two, and I use the second part of it as like mm-hmm. almost a plinth for six scale. Um, right. Yeah. Because yeah. it's too big otherwise. Like quarter scale yeah. stands. Yeah. Quarter scale figures do not need stands like that. It's it's too. It's. Too I think yeah, I think I mean we're we're primarily primarily obviously one sixth collectors, but I think everyone should probably have a quarter scale premium format in their collection, just because they do have that extra impact. They are uh, you know they're massive. They they're a lot Things. bigger than you think they're going to be. Um, if you're if you're collecting premium formats, you're a statue collector. You know you know that they're going to come with big bases. You know that you, most most people will probably have. A have display cases that can accommodate it because yeah. that's what you collect. Mm-hmm. Hot Toys and their quarter scale line, their main audience are figure, are figure collectors, six scale figure yeah. collectors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most people have either smaller display cases yeah. or ones like that or the, the Billy Book cases. So you're not going to, um, you're not going to be able to display these giant fuck off stands no no that, that literally i mean that fuck is probably the size of the spider-man yeah like yeah. height wise like yeah. how are you going to how would you even display that like yeah you know i think if you if you were going to buy a premium format of spider-man you expect the fucker to be gangly and legs and arms everywhere and it'd yeah. be hanging off of something quite big mm-hmm. um yeah i was just thinking hot toys have got a weird choice when it yeah. comes to stands for these, because yeah. if you put that standing quite in six scale, people would love it. Yeah, yeah. Um, same with the Vader one. Shrink that fucker down, give it to me in six scale, and I love it. Mm-hmm. Quarter scale, she's too fucking big. Yeah, yeah. At least my indie's only got a sort of base about that tall, so it doesn't make him. He's not in the cabinet. I couldn't fit him in a cabinet, but he just sits no. alongside. So you know. But again, that's a statue, so you kind of expect it to be. Yeah, big. yeah. Exactly. If they released it as a quarter scale figure. And gave it a giant fuck off base. Mm, yeah, you be it just doesn't make sense. Well, at least to me, it just doesn't make sense. No. Um. So yeah, but, that's yeah. Spider Man. And then, oh, I love this. I wish I'd <laughs> prove. I wish, do you know? I was tempted with the bike. I really am to just. Yeah, but, it, but I'm not. Wishy washy reviews of the bike. I don't think the bike is ever going to be amazing, really. No. Um, right. So this is the Hot Toy Scout Trooper for when we actually release this as a podcast and people have no idea what we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> um, so this is the Hot Toy Scout Trooper and bike and will cost you 460 quid plus postage. Um, yeah, what what you heard about the bike then? It um, meant to be just flimsy, just like that it was flimsy, channel? yeah. People, were, you know, people said that... I've only seen a couple, but they said that the figure's fantastic. You know, it mm. looks really good. They've solved that. They've They've narrowed that gap in the middle haven't they so it looks less like yeah. he's wearing a, a nappy <laughs> um i think they just said that yeah it feels like it's going to break it, it's it's very fragile which i guess it's going to be because it's got a lot of very thin elements mm. to it um and 
you know, it's it's tricky to pose and obviously get him to to sit on, but it's probably no different to any issues that that the the original sideshow one mm. might have had. I've never had one in hand, so I I, I don't know. But no, I've only had repainted Hasbro ones. Yeah. One thing I did hear about this, which I thought was quite a good design, was that the feet have magnets in. Yes. And so have yeah. the pedals. Yeah. Yeah, that's any good. Ho- any vehicle, any bike that has an accompanying figure should just have that. It's yeah. such a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea because unless you've got like toe straps or anything, you can't get them to stay on there no. very easy. So that's a, that's a really good idea. Looks like Danny's getting one. Yeah, because the problem is, and I have it with uh, even pouts on the throne. When you try and like get him laying back and you try and get him into a certain position, because he's not a person. When you, because you know, like now, if I lean forward, I'm putting yeah. weight on my feet, which keeps them on the yeah. floor. The mm-hmm. figure doesn't do that; it just no, no. rocks about the place. Yeah. So having yeah. something that keeps the feet anchored while you yeah, sit yeah. about with the rest of it is a brilliant idea. Yeah, I think they've done well there. Um, um, yeah, it yeah, runs as the yeah. weather looks. It does look really good. It's really it heavy because it's funny because I, I, I pre-ordered one of these when they first came out because at the time I was after mm. uh, um, Return of the Jedi Scout Trooper, and I just couldn't mm. get one anywhere for a decent price. Um, and I thought I could probably de-weather it. I'm glad I didn't in the end. I, I managed to get mm. a, and obviously you're gonna you're gonna take this off my hands. But I think mm. there's a lot of weathering to take off <laughs> to try and make it it's clean. Re- yeah, if you're gonna try and make this into a Return of the Jedi, one, it's a repaint. Yeah, so, getting the getting the weathering off. Yeah, is, is not gonna be a, an no, easy job. No, so um, you know, uh, so hopefully I, I'm not sure. It'll probably be two three months, and then I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, mm. I just the trooper on its own. I didn't order the bike. Um, no, I love, yeah, it looks I solid. Love the trooper, yeah, he's, he's really good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's, it was. It's probably the for me. It's the best release mm-hmm. that we've had uh, yeah. out of everything we're going to talk to. This is this yeah, is yeah. the one that yeah. I think is probably the best. Because um, next up we have this only came out. Was it yesterday? Uh, this is the Hot Toys Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, with Kylo Ren. She don't, yeah. A few days ago, weren't it? Yeah, uh, three hundred and twenty-two pound. Um, it looks like they changed quite a bit on it. Mm. Yeah, um, the, the scope looks a lot better. Yeah, it does look a lot um, better. Yeah, but to me, I've got the Last Jedi version. I I don't feel the need to upgrade because I know at some so point just the just the stuck together helmet is that is that the the helmet's different. The yeah. cape's different. It's got a hood on it. Right. And the head sculpts. I think the head sculpt on this is, is better. It is a really good head um, sculpt. Yeah, they changed, didn't they, from the proto thing? So it mm. wasn't wasn't as good. Um, Andre, even. Yeah, I think it. I think it looks good. Um, so yeah, I, if if you've got the previous version, I wouldn't rush to pick this up personally. Mm-hmm. Um, I do like that helmet. I like the light up feature. I think it's really nice. Um, but again, I'm not a big fan of light up features because it's more shit. Where does the turn um... on? Is that a, a separate head? Yes. Yeah, because otherwise be you wouldn't really head. get the battery in there some anyway, would you? And, and yeah. You wouldn't want to risk the head sculpt. So yeah. And as well, they had an issue with the last version because the the head, the unmasked head, was a head and a neck all in one right. piece, and then the helmet had a separate neck piece. Mm-hmm. But what would happen is when you when you pegged it in and then pulled it out, it yeah. would actually rip. The post from the body. Oh, really? It would just rip it out straight through the hole because it was too tight. Oh, so I've 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 seen a few where people have gone, well, "What the fuck do I do?" And you've got to unscrew the body and pop it back in mm. and change the 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 peg out on the neck. Um, so it looks like that's probably one of the reasons why they they went down this route. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, like I said, the light up feature I think is good. But again, I wouldn't light it up because I don't do light up features. Um, no, and I don't think there's any. I don't. I can't see any way of making a, a CCFL version of that because I don't think you can get tubes short enough small. to do the side. Um, yeah, the shortest tubes I've seen are the six-inch tubes. So yeah. yeah, I mean this is a funny one really because when it was first announced, I don't think that many people really wanted it. Um, mm-hmm. But I've seen a few people since it's been released in Hong Kong clambering for it. Yeah, I think the the love's grown a bit. I think you know, and a lot of people said that, um, uh, you know, that he's possibly the best thing about the sequel trilogies. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I think that I think the uh, the Kylo love has grown in the couple of years since the last. Yeah, film. I think people have kind of calmed the fuck down a bit. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, yeah. 
and have started yeah, yeah. to, to yeah, appreciate times a great elements healer. of it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and then we have the SSR Crime Clown. Uh, yeah, a this is one twelfth. Yeah, tiny well, figure, one twelfth. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we don't have a price on this one because I'm an idiot and I forgot to get one. Um, I think it's but, it's something like seventy quid or something. It's it's, it's yeah. quite a good. Uh... But if I collected one twelfth, I would be all over this like a rash. Mm. Um, it looks really good. It looks like the head sculpt with hair is a knockoff of the Tony May one. Mm-hmm. With longer with a bigger black quiff, um, but I, I really, I really like it. I think the paintwork on it is fantastic. Yeah, um, and these are the guys who are doing that other Batman that I pre yep. that Hush one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, the so Hush one, which is the one be, sixth, isn't it? Yeah, so it's... yeah. So it'd be interesting to see some reviews of this in hand. But mm. yeah, I really like it. I think the paintwork looks really good for one twelfth as well. Like it looks yeah, yeah. really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. If one twelfth keep going this way, I can see myself picking up some one twelfth stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, because that's spot on, absolutely spot it's on. It's really good, and I think that I think we one twelfth. The issue's always been the clothing, but I think they're getting better at you know a lot better get, getting it in that in that and not, not looking too like oversized buttons and the stitching's too you know too obviously. Oh, you can see the stitching, but uh, you know I think it's a lot better than it was. And, and Mezco have, have knocked that on quite. a away I think with the expectation of the quality with the one twelfth figure yeah. now. Not sure That's if you good. guys are going to discuss it. Have you seen the third party nightmare joker? Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes we added that yep. on the show sheet. Yep. He's in he's um, in later. He's in there. Yeah, so we are on to oh. coming soon. I tell you, I'm gonna have to, I'm I'm so gonna have that as the intro. You just going oh 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 I've gone too early. Yeah. Oh no, I've gone oh. too far. <laughs> it was a bit of an oh Betty. Um, <laughs> cool. Yeah. So this now honest question: Has anyone actually seen the film 1900 in the comments? Yeah, anyone? we need some help because we were talking yeah. about this beforehand, and we we're like neither of us had ever heard of it. We looked it up, and it sounded weird, and uh, yeah. we didn't have any desire to watch well, it. To be fair, I don't mind weird films, but mm. it just sounded shit. Well, <laughs> I was trying it. to be—I was trying to be kind to it, but yeah, it sounded yeah. shit. No, so a real waste this, of two hours. It did, yeah, it did. It didn't sound like it didn't sound like there was going to be much enjoyment there. So this is the the <laughs> Daft Toys. Um, <laughs> we whispers back. <laughs> Whisper, have you seen nineteen hundred Legend of nineteen hundred? That's more important. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So I must have missed that bit. I did not hear the bit where Palpatine claimed to be a clone. Uh no, yeah, maybe. I've no idea, mate. I've no idea. Um so yeah, Ryan hasn't No, no. Hasn't seen this. Um yeah, so anyway. This is the Daft Toys uh, one six scale, the Legend of nineteen hundred. It's at one hundred and fifty quid out September to December this year. Is it never, Tim Roth? I've no idea. I've <laughs> never honestly. <laughs> they, they put it up. So, I was, and I was like, we, we don't even know who the actors meant to be. No. Oh, I mean, is it? Or oh, is it Ryan Thingy? Uh, Gosling. No. Yeah. No. No. No, it's too old. Too old a film. <laughs> is it? Yeah, it, it, it went up. It is Tim was, Roth. It is Tim Roth. It is Tim yeah. Roth. Yeah, yeah, it went up, and I was like, I've no idea what the fuck this is. Not a clue. Nineteen ninety-eight, um, blimey. So the, the yeah. figure itself, I like the stand looks nice. The tailoring looks good because it's you know it's yeah. Death Toys. They're they're mm-hmm. pretty good anyway. Um, but I just it's a very odd choice, isn't it? It just came out of nowhere. Yeah. It came out of absolute nowhere. <laughs> so I do not. So good luck if you if you've seen the film and you like it and you want a figure of it. It looks great, but um, it's not for yeah. us. No, no, not in the slightest. <laughs> um, neither is this, this, mind you. Okay. <laughs> so effectively, this is just going to be us cutting off figures for a while before we get back to some stuff. Before we get to the good like. stuff, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah. this is the three zero Sansa Stark for two hundred and nine quid out Q one twenty twenty two. No, no, I it, don't like it. I, I literally, um, 
I saw this and just thought to myself. How about new? <laughs> yeah. Just no. I don't. Look, I've said before, I don't get the Game of Thrones figures coming out now. I don't get that kind of no. stuff. It just, it, yeah. And they've they've it's, talked about a load more as well. I think they're um they've got at least another four or five that they're that they yeah. they've mentioned. And it's like, well, I know I know Dean and Dean's collecting them. Um, to be honest, it looks it looks it doesn't look too bad on the the one on the right on that angle. But as Dean pointed out, she's she's got no neck. You know, yeah. she needs a longer neck, and I don't know how that's set up in there. Whether you, whether it's on her neck, and you could just push it up a bit, but. Mate, I tell you that um, the neck is not what I've been looking at. I've been looking at it again. It looks fuck all like her. Well, yeah, I think it. I think it's reaching to say that it that it looks like her. I, I can kind it of. It looks. It looks more like Amy Pond from Doctor Who than yeah, it does yeah. Santa yeah. Stark. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Just shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no other. I, I've no good things to say about this. No, in the slightest. I'm, I'm interested to see. I don't think I'm going to get into Game of Thrones figures, but um, I'd like. I'm interested to see what they make of what the Jor Jorah Mormont figures like and the mountain. I don't know if it's going to be pre-zombie mountain or, or zombie mountain, but um, I'll tell you, the, the game when it comes to Game of Thrones stuff, the third party stuff is way better. Yeah. Yep. Everything, th everything Game of Thrones I've seen, third party, mm -hmm. kicks kicks yeah, the yeah. the three yes. zero stuff's ass. Yeah. Um, I don't know why they just they just shit with likenesses. Um, like talking me. of shit likenesses. Yeah. So XO six. Were... Yeah. Go on. Yeah, XO six have just just shown off. Um, well, shown off. They've shown uh, Picard from their mm. um, first contact line, yep. which. I'm not a fan of the head sculpts, if I'm no, honest. No. Um, the rest of it, I think the accessories you get are great. Tailoring looks good. Yeah. Um, not a fan of the giant hands, but every toy company that kind of does that. Um, yeah. The head sculpts, certain angles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Again. Um, yeah. Yeah. The 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 three quarters one is is better than the straight on. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah. Definitely. The shape um, of the, I, the 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 head's good. The dome. Yeah, um, I mean, I'd be tempted to pick it up if it was relatively cheap, and like we said before, put the um, QMX head yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. I think that so, would look really good. So what's interesting is, 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 I mean, I don't know the, the obviously the machinations behind it, but obviously this, the XO6 line is is the the Phoenix from the Flames that was QMX in terms of um, mm. uh, Tangin, who who was the guy behind the designs? So it's interesting that obviously he was involved with the the sculpting, or, or you know, the production of the the next gen Picard, which is a stronger likeness. You'd think mm -hmm. that he'd just you know if he still had the molds, that they'd just reprint that one because that was really good. Um, mm -hmm. Albeit he's a few years older in this, but obviously with the lack of hair, it, it doesn't really. I don't think he noticeably aged that much. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of a shame, really. A bit of a because the rest of it looks really good and the data looks mm. brilliant. Um, yeah, and I know and you the were data really wasn't about that it. expensive. No, I think about 150 quid so wasn't that mm. bad. Mm. The thing is, I'd love a I'd love a Picard Riker data Jordan Wolf. Yeah, would do me yeah. down to the ground. And the yeah. only reason I wouldn't want a Troy is because I don't think they do it properly. No, I mean, how would you do all that hair? She's got a massive amount of hair, isn't she? And it yeah. wouldn't look right either sculpted or or, or, or rooted, I don't think. Mm. Um, I mean, obviously, you've got a bit of a weight because this is part of their captain's line, isn't it? So we're going to yeah. have the other five captains or whatever first before... be interesting to see what they're doing with Kirk. Else. Yeah, yeah. It'd be good to see a movie, Kirk. Yeah. If they're going to follow on with like the movie theme that they're doing, mm -hmm. yeah, it um, makes sense because there's never been an official um, figure of that. There've been some quite expensive like, i mini me versions mm. and stuff, but not no, never an official one. So no. that would be good. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, and then back to one twelfth. Um, I'd say we're treading on small uh, 
small talks toes here. We are. We 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 we're dabbling in in the small dabbling. world. Yeah. We're dabbling. Yeah. We're having a dabble. Yeah. Um yeah, so TW Toys White Ninja, one twelfth scale, seventy quid. And the Black Warrior, which is the same scale, eighty one quid, and they're both out uh well, White Ninja's out Q three twenty twenty one. Oh no, sorry, they're both out Q3 2021. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're both out later on this year. Um, these are just shrunk down hot toys. Yeah, I quite I like them. I think um, mm. I was I was always tempted. I've very nearly on many occasions pulled the trigger on these hot toys because they were going really cheap at one point. You could get like, fucking I have on Snake. Like, yeah, two hundred. You know. Snake eyes. I've been tempted loads of times because mm-hmm. I th- you could used to pick it up for about hundred and thirty quid. Yeah. And people using it as a really good base for like Batman stuff because mm-hmm. of the armor. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and I just caught my eye because I think like they'd be quite good at one twelfth. I think um, my view of one twelfth is they're kind of the figures that I sit at my desk and, and play with. I wouldn't be too worried about you know damaging mm-hmm. them or anything because if it's cost you seventy quid, it's not a two hundred and fifty three hundred pound hot toys that you you yeah. don't you know you just put in the cabinet and put on display these are the sort of things that you just have on your desk and you fiddle about with and repose and stuff like that so i, I that's what i like about the 112th and why i normally have a few kicking around um you know so just... i i got a f- uh homemade suit spider-man to do some work on a on a batman yeah. and that just sits upstairs on my work desk just sits there and because it's cloth yeah. and it's just a trade for some work I've been done I just every now and then I get a little bit bored and I turn my camera off in the meeting and just tweak it and bang yeah. it back, and, bang and, it back and on it, the shelf it, and it's quite good fun isn't it just you know because it's, it's not something you normally do with. yeah not like, something you normally do with the figures so it's, it's mm. most of you get them in that killer pose and that's it they don't they don't move from that unless you sell no. them <laughs> yeah yeah you don't yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah, so yeah, good, so. I'd uh, yeah, I'd be I'd be tempted. Um, and then we have the Ly Toys uh, Son of the Bat. Uh, mm. This is six scale, and this is one hundred and thirty quid out September to December this year. Um, I think we said before, weren't we? We're not too familiar. No, with, with the source material. But, no, um, but I like it. But, I like the big yeah. fuck off collar. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I like the I like the big old belt buckle. Um, yeah. You can't beat a big belt buckle, so no. I think it looks pretty good. Like just as mm. a, even just as a generic kind of um, you know base for 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 a Batman custom Batman mm. it looks pretty good. I've seen people uh, post pictures of the comic, like the Batman from right. the comic, and it looks yeah. really accurate. So yeah, yeah, and it, as well, it's cheap as chips. I mean the price of it. Yeah, I mean I, as I've said, I I, I want to put together. I'm kind of keeping my eye on different Batman because I've I've ordered that giant world box body mm. and i want to do a um just a uh, nothing specific but a, just a kind of like a yeah a big ass An amalgamation like dark, yeah like dark knight returns kind of um and obviously i just really need a suit and i you know just keep an eye on these things to see what kind of suit um because they're all st- these fabric suits all stretch quite a lot and i've, I've put yeah, them on big time m35s and stuff so i think it won't be a problem it'll be a tight fit but they'll, they'll work um i actually really like the um uh, you know the the Batman the sideshow one they did the more recent one um, that yes. came with the head sculpt I think or with it but it's so expensive you can't pick them up for anything. So I I really like the old sideshow yeah, Batman. Yeah, I had the original the, one. Yeah, not the Gotham Knight one, the blue yeah, one. Yeah, the, the blue one, blue and grey. Yeah. Yeah, I used to have that, and then the, then the bodies for those were really sought after because that's what yeah. I was using for customs because yeah. it was yeah. a bit beefier. Um, but to be fair, you can build that up with putty. Like mm-hmm. it doesn't. It's not. Then it's not that hard no, to no. do. No, no, um, no. But yeah, so yeah, I'd, no. I would be pretty tempted by that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then this random thing, <laughs> the super, <laughs> the super mad toys. It's Western called World. Western World. Yes. Yeah, um, one hundred and twenty-six quid out Q four twenty twenty-one. Um, he looks like an orc. I can't um, remember. What's his um, character's name? I can't remember. Just See, I watched, I watched the first series of Westworld and thought it was really good. Started watching yep. the second and couldn't get back into it. No, no. 
Um, so um, I've kind of abandoned it. Dr. Robert Ford. So he's the... Uh, Sandy Ford. Hopkins is the guy that designed the, the, the park. Um, mm. Yeah, it's a bit odd. He comes with a strange kind of disintegrating hat. Um, like it's like it's been, like Thanos has snapped his fingers and his hat started <laughs> to go first. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're right. West, West, the first season is brilliant. And like mm. it just poses so many questions and so much intrigue. Second season um, I thought was okay, but not as good. And then the third season I was bored senseless. Mm. Um, I trudged through it. Floor. Yeah, and I assume there's going to be a fourth, but I, I don't know. But yeah, the first one's really good. You can almost watch it as a standalone and just kind of, you know, leave it to, to your own imagination as to kind of where it goes after that because it does mm. it doesn't live up to the that first series. But yeah, no, not liking the sculpt. It's all a bit kind of scrunched up, and you say you look, he's, he looks like an Joe orc, Pesci. Joe Pesci. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. Leo gets in Westworld. Yeah, yeah. Is is it? I so you could do a Home Alone, uh, someone. A good Home Alone. Uh, <laughs> you could uh, do custom actually. build. Yeah, you could do if you got it. You could do a really good Marv with that if you put, you put the hat on him and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there. Work. It's Marv. <laughs> yeah, be tempted now actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, it's a shame because Superman stuff's good and and it's just a very odd one and to pick that one from that film in yeah, that series just, as well and it's just out of nowhere yeah yeah just out of nowhere um and then we had the hot toys captain america from yep. falcon and the winter soldier so, spoiler warning here if you haven't watched the final episode of the falcon and the winter soldier yeah mind you if you have if if this is the first time you've seen it you haven't been on the internet for weeks and you're um, not really into this hobby <laughs> no exactly <laughs> yeah. so yeah. this is uh, three hundred and thirty-two pounds uh, at June to December on Sideshow in uh, twenty twenty-two, or two hundred seventy-eight, um, roughly the same kind of time uh, in Hong Kong. Um, I really like it. I think it's. Yeah, I, I think the head sculpt's good. I like the suit. Um, it's just a shame I don't collect Marvel anymore. But yeah, it's funny because um, like my other half, she 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 hates the hobby. She she's always um like taking the piss out of the head sculpts and saying that none of them look anything like it. We watched the series together and she really liked yeah. it. And she saw this and she said, that looks brilliant. Mm. She's like, if yeah. I, if I was to have a figure, I'd buy that. And I yeah. said, it does look really good with like the wings are, cause they're massive. If you've got them mm. stretched out. And I said, it does look like a good likeness. Yeah. So and it, it gets it makes the thumbs sense. up from the missus, which you know is very rare. Exactly. It makes sense as well. Why they didn't, cause we were saying when they did Bucky, like, with, yeah, well, they did. Where's the yeah. Falcon? Yeah, they I didn't mean, want to spoil it. It would probably well, it would still be nice to get a regular Falcon from yeah. the mm-hmm. program because again, this is kind of like the the one episode suit. Yeah, it, it's, yeah. it's 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 kind of the reverse OG Mando, mm-hmm. where we got this is in like one episode at the end as opposed to a couple of episodes at yeah. the beginning, like, mm-hmm. like Mando. Um, but yeah, if I collected Marvel, yeah, this would be on the list. Yeah, because I think, I think the cool. head sculpt is is shrink ray. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I think it helps because technically you can't see half of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, kind yeah. of like the, the, the Batman mouth plates. Yeah, like you, you see enough Christian, that but... they can nail those details. And uh, yeah, I really like it. I think if you're yeah. if you're a Marvel collector, yeah, it's a great figure. Um, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and then I think someone mentioned this one. Yeah, uh, the quarter scale Spider Man set. Um, I don't have a release date or price because again I'm shit. Um, but it's I think this was a brilliant idea. Shit it for, yeah. nah, no, I can't see it being more than I can't see it being anything more than a hundred pound. No, um, no, no, easily, no, definitely not. Yeah, um, but I, I think this was a brilliant idea. I think it was a brilliant idea to mm-hmm. offer you these accessories that you got yeah, with yeah. the six scale as an add-on pack for the quarter scale. Um, yeah, really good idea. If I had the quarter scale Spider Man, I'd be pre ordering this. Yeah, um, it's good to see these companies are on it. You know, they're they're mm-hmm. they're supplementing and they're adding. They're not, you know, they're not doing a copy of it, but they're going. Well, you didn't put these bits in, so we're yeah, going to make them. You. you know, and yeah. yeah, it's good. Yeah, you get the choice. Um, and then now this one's a bit of a mouthful. <laughs> Uh, so this is the Flashpoint <laughs> Studio FP two two one five six one six scale Doomsday Reveler. Now there's two versions of this. Um, yeah. Jeebus and the um, 
like squat actual nightmare scene one. Yeah, um, that one. They're about 135 so, quid out Q4 2021. Um, I definitely prefer that version to the weird Jesus one. Yeah, yeah. Um, from the when did we actually see him like that in the? It was a promo shot thing, I think. Oh, that's right. Yes, yeah, so it wasn't even in the, um, in the film. No. Nah. So yeah, that second one. I like the look of. Yeah. The hair's a little bit too plasticky, if you get what I mean. It's funny because it almost looks like rooted in the in the main shot, and then the one in the corner is clearly plastic. It's yeah, it is confusing. Yeah. But... Um, but overall, I quite like it. I think if if you've got the Nightmare Batman, then this is probably worth picking up. Um, uh, yeah. I wonder if they do a Civil War and go Falcon upgrade. Yeah, potentially. He's, he's clearly, he clearly likes a uh, a rusty sheriff's badge. Does the uh, the Doomsday does Reveler? Bit. He does a bit. Apparently, with all the cops he killed. Um, is, it, is this a face mask thing? That, yeah. So he yeah. wears it around his neck. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can see um, it there. Yeah. Mm. No, it looks but I like the way you get the rifle, the card, mm-hmm. the crown. I'm not. Sh- I can't remember him wearing the crown. Um, no. That's the but same yeah, as like so, here, isn't it? So they've just put it in yeah. so you can make that same figure, I guess. Um, yeah. And the, I don't know why he's got the cow, but I'm not sure on that one either. To be fair, it's a bit um, weird. Yeah, but yeah, I think if I had a Nightmare Batman, I would I'd pick that up, particularly for the mm-hmm. price. It's not not going to break the bank. No. Well, um, it's pretty good. And then while we're on the DC train. About an hour, two hours ago, uh, by Art Studios, who did the six scale uh, Superman, have yeah. now announced the black version, the black transcendent, uh, 136 quid. So not bad at all. No, no. Out uh, October 2021 to December 2021. And you get a big ass um, base with it. Quite a lot for 136 quid. Yeah. Two head scopes, massive base. Again, I don't know why people keep putting hands in the accessory panels. We get that Superman comes with hands. That's kind of a given at this point. Um, yeah. And then what were you saying about a voice activated? It says here, look, the lighting effect of the eyes is controlled by voice device. So, that's going to be weird. So light up your light. bastard. Yeah. And the weird thing is, that head sculpt's on the left. When I fir- first glance, I was like, oh, I don't like that. But the mm. more I look at it, the more I see... Cavill in it, yeah. Um, and I was going to say, even if you don't like the, either of these um, head sculpts, if you get the the, the new um, custom one from One Sixth Kit, that's really good. Um, yeah. I, I've had it in hand because I, I ordered one way back when I had a uh, a Man of Steel Superman. Um, I don't mm. now. I sold it straight on, but it's really good. And that's only like thirty five quid something like that. So even if you whack that on the top of this, you're still only at one hundred and seventy. Yeah. Um, and I've, from what I understand of the previous one, the red and blue one, people said the suit's really good. Mm. You know, it's decent quality. So, yeah, I was t- I was trying to pick one up, but they're all sold out everywhere. Yeah, yeah, which is unsurprising. Yeah, I think they, yeah. Mm. Mm. I think they were quite popular at the price. Be so. te- I'd be definitely tempted by this. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to, I need to stop. <laughs> need to stop. <laughs> it's Can't just too much good money. shit coming out at the moment, isn't there? There is. It's, it's fucking insanity. Oh, and then I ordered, um, while we were on DC, I ordered the, the Death Toys Joker outfit as well the other day. Oh, so, the... the um, Which one's that? The Ledger the, one. The Ledger one, yeah? Yeah, the Ledger one. I ordered one of Have those because... you already because... got the figure? Then? Yes, I've got yeah. one of the Fire Toys ones. Oh, that's right, yeah. yeah. Is... So is the, is the suit meant to be a, a big step up from... Massive. Like yeah. the, the, if you look, have a look on Auxiliary and search for Manny's post. Okay. Um, yep. He just got the set, and that's what made me order it because it looks mm-hmm. really, really good. The coat looks like an actual coat, not a fucking bath robe. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Because I've got that, and I've got a sea reg sculpt on mine. So yep. I, I just need decent clothes. Cool. How much was that? Ninety quid off one yeah, six corner. That's really so good. So not bad at all. No. To be fair, so yeah, I've just got to wait for it to turn up. So hopefully that be in next week. Um, cool. Over to you on this so, one. You're the man. So we have the Hot Toys Bad Batch Echo, uh, two hundred and eleven quid out April to June twenty twenty two. Um, so tempted to pre-order it, but I haven't purely because of when it's meant to be due out. Um, 
but there's just too much coming out about that time. <laughs> um, now, we've seen one episode of this so far. Really, really enjoyed it. He did two parts of Fuck All in that episode, so <laughs> I'm expecting him to do way more later on. Um, but he's, I'm the, he, it. he's the Inspector Gadget of the uh, of the Bad Batch crew, I Pretty assume. Pretty much. So, <laughs> so in... In Clone Wars, him and another clone called Fives. Um, so Fives, spoiler alert, doesn't make it. Yeah, um, I've, I've gathered that from all the, all the little jokes and stuff people have. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, Echo ends up getting captured by the Separatists, and he's effectively well. He kind of he like pretty much blows up. He gets he is taken right. by the se- Separatists, and they they pretty much plug him into their um, computers. And so he's like a Borg, isn't he? He looks very Borg like. He is very Borg like there. Yeah. Um, and then they they save him later on, but mm-hmm. yeah. So he's got that mechanical arm, and he's got a load of different attachments which he's yet to use. So that should be cool. Um, I really like it. I like the armor. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, looks like a Borger pit. He does. Um, yeah. I, I think the head sculpt looks really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think it quite translates to realistic. No. Um, but on the whole, I think it's. I am impressed, and I am very tempted. Um, Wolf, uh, sorry, Hunter, fucking Wolf, we've gone gladiators. Hunter <laughs> looks really good. Um, yeah, yeah, he's been teased, but, hasn't he? We've come to him in a bit. I, um, I agree with Dean about the Islam. You kind of, it would, it, it would be great to have all of them. Yeah. You're spending about 200 quid each on them. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. That's a lot of money yeah. for the whole set. Um, and Hot Toys haven't got the best track record no, in actually releasing stuff. So um, you might get two or three. Will you think? Yeah, and you need to weigh up whether or not yeah you know, they they come as a batch. You know that, that that if you can't have all of them, then is it, you know do you want any of them? Kind of thing. It's a difficult one, isn't it? Because um, yeah. it does look really cool. It's not it's not my bag, but um, I'd be really annoyed if they if you couldn't get like all five and say for example sideshow they didn't they only released four of the six bounty hunters from empire yeah. that would be really annoying hmm. um because they come as a group you know that and the thing is when you look at all their armors they all have the same base armor but they, mm-hmm. they are very different yeah. so it isn't like it isn't like you could just get another couple of the same character no, and just easily customize them into the head yeah, into like, yeah. the rest because yeah. they are quite different. Um, yeah, because who's the guy who's like the scientisty one with the with the glasses and? I honestly I can't remember half their names. <laughs> Is that the one on the left? But on he's the, the on far the bottom left. Yeah. On the bottom far left, yeah. He's, yeah, I thought he was quite really cool. Good. I liked him. Yeah, I like the, the big bruiser one. He's quite yeah. good. In yeah. fact, I thought they were all good. I mm-hmm. really did. I, I really liked it. And the fact it was like an hour and a half long for yeah. the first episode was really good. Um, but yeah, so I'm. Um, I'd like to see them, and net. I'd, I want to see more before yeah. I commit to anything. Yeah. Um, Do you think they so want to see how well the show does, or no? I don't think that. No. I don't think that factors into Star Wars stuff anymore. No. I think they will just, unless it was a, a you know, a six series long, um, Jar Jar arc. <laughs> I don't think they're. I don't think they'd even bat an eyelid. I think no. they would just pump stuff out from it mm-hmm. um so then there was the hot toys mando and the blurg yeah uh, probably this... probably the one of the bigger bigger announcements i think um, yes not so... literally but obviously you know <laughs> something that <laughs> yeah. people have been after um yeah so this for both will cost you uh 411 pound from sideshow mm-hmm. uh, april to june 2022 and then the blurg on its own is 233 um there's been some really good points people have made about this, about the OG Mando, how it's kind of a reissue, but they've given yeah. you enough extra bits and they've taken bits away, so it's not really... Mm-hmm. It's almost like a tax for people that have Yeah, yeah. yeah. But then, yeah, I, I mean, I don't give a shit about reissues. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. It doesn't bother um, me either. No. I mean, the Blurg's a bit of an interesting one. I, I'd love to see them tackle more creatures and more monsters yeah that's what a lot of people say you know it's a, it's a, it's a good starter to see whether mm. they would venture into but obviously this is one of the smaller 
um, you know, if, you, if you're talking yeah. about a Dewback or a or a Banth or anything like that, they're so huge. I've noticed on eBay, there's a few people that do one six scale blurgs unpainted yeah. as mm-hmm. a kit. Um, they look really good. Uh, so again, this I think lots of people are really excited about it, and particularly you know, there's this, there's the bike we're going to talk about. Um, I've seen people make those. I've got yep. files for the bike myself, so I can print one. Mm-hmm. Um, I could probably get files for this and print it. Um, yeah. I suppose so the way to, to look at it, if it's such a say it's four eleven, that's probably it's without shipping, I suppose. But um, yeah. people tax, have been paying easily, been paying yeah, over three three hundred, three twenty for just yeah. the Mando. So if you look at it that way, if you're getting the Blurg for kind of like a hundred quid, um, mm. that's pretty good. Yeah, I think if you're someone who hasn't, who doesn't yeah. own the OG Mando, um, yeah. then but yeah, at least they're giving us the option to buy yeah. him on his own. Yeah, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, I like that. Um, What's the so price the style, on, it on its own? On its own was two hundred thirty-three, which I didn't think was okay, too so. bad. No, no, but a better, much better deal if you do get the the two. Uh, you know, okay. obviously, if you haven't got the OG Mando, I think that makes that a good a good deal. For the to two, be fair, you could you could buy it, and you could split it, and you'd yeah. probably make on it. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. Andre says the Star Wars leases have got a bit overwhelming for me uh, this year, and I'm already out of space to display what I have with a worrying amount of pre-order. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same yeah. boat. Did you um, did you ever think that there'd be this many figures from the Mando line? Is it yeah. is it overwhelming you a bit, Ian? <laughs> no. So I knew I knew they were going to go balls deep into it. Yeah. Um. They a hundred percent. They were always going to do that. Um. What I was surprised about is stuff like the Bad Batch and mm-hmm. Clone Wars and things like that. Um. And yeah. to be fair, like the Hot Toy stuff that they've shown is all stuff that I could pass on. I'm not. I'm not like this is amazing. I must have it. Yeah. Um. I pre-ordered. I think one of the the releases they've shown. Um. And that's purely because I haven't got that many troopers, so I've ordered the the trooper commander. I yeah, don't have a lot of troopers. Of yeah. And that will fit in with generally anything. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. Definitely. But yeah. the other bits, I can I can do that myself. I don't need to buy the Hot Toys version, and I'll save myself a chunk. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but yeah. So uh, then, Hot Toys Grogu, a little six scale Grogu for yes. one hundred and seven pound at January to March twenty twenty two. Fine, it, it doesn't doesn't offend me. One hundred and seven quid. One hundred and seven quid. I don't think it's too bad. Um, you're only no. getting half a Grogu this time, though. You don't get it standing up, so it'd just be half a Grogu that sits in the the crib. Right. Um, okay. So when it says. In three poses. What does, what does that actually? What does that mean? Uh, you've got, the, got, you've got it. This one in his in rack, the cr- in his blankie. In the blankie, in the in the crate, and in the crib. Right. Okay. Are they? So it. are they fixed into those then? So the way it works is if I open up my Grogu. See, it's like someone's cut his legs off. Oh, okay. So he yep. just sits like that. So I'm guessing what they will do is cut this piece off here and just yep. have it so that you plonk him out of the crib and into the box. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And then what they will probably do is give you two head scopes yeah. that you swap. But there's a magnet that sits inside the crib that it just clips it, that it just locks onto. Um so the, this crib's the one from the tail end of Series 1 into Series 2. So mm-hmm. what is quite good about this is if you've upgraded your Mando to a Series 2 Mando, this is the crib he has get, up until he meets Bo-Katan. Is the, yeah, the one that gets eaten by that creature. By the big, yeah. The so this ship, is the yeah. one that Quill makes yeah. at the end of the second series. So if you've already, mm-hmm. if you've already chippied it over to Series 2, yeah. it makes sense to have this crib. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then the original crew you could stick with the OG Mando. Um, I'm this I would probably pick up if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, just because it would go with Series Two Mando really well. Mhm. But I, 
I wouldn't want to pay more than 107. No, and that's no. that's all in. So I wouldn't order it from Sideshow because I don't want to pay input on it. And no, I don't want to pay no, shipping. No. But if I can no. find it for roughly about 100 pound all in, I'd I'd go for it. Because it's an interesting one. They, if it's one that they end up with loads left out, you know, if it doesn't prove to be pop that popular, then they might mm. you might be able to pick one up for it. It'd be like the um, price. Uh, what was the little black BB-8 thing? Oh yeah, the, knocking yeah, around. yeah, the, the the evil one. Yeah. So this, so I'm so just disappointed. It's missing the eggs. Yeah. This is series one though. All of these are all from right. series one. Yeah. So you won't get the eggs. Because what they will do is they will then go, here's a deluxe bando from series two with Grogu, and they give you the eggs and all of that. Yeah. And this is yeah. this is the thing what I've noticed is a lot of people have, when it comes to Mando, they're chucking a lot of series two stuff at it, going it should have this, 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 and this. Mm-hmm. But the stuff that they're releasing is all from series one. Yeah. We've not had anything apart from. Like Bo Katan and that, so this this is definitely from yeah. Series One because yeah, that right. crate. I, mean, like, I think people are getting confused that, that the, the the best Scar Bando is is the season two, but it's not. It's the very end of season one, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. So this this would go with that because that crate, I believe, is Series One as well. Yeah, I might be wrong. If that crate Series Two, then yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Don't remember the crate. Yeah. when he was in that. Um, but the frog, the frog, the loath cat, this him swaddled. That's all series one, as far as I believe. Mm. Um, so yeah, it would be, yeah, it'd be interesting yeah. to see. Yeah, what a, what a deluxe series two Mando comes mm-hmm. with, but I bet it will come with the eggs. There's going to be um, so many different variations. I think they're, they're if the thing if you love Grogu, you got to get them all. Yeah, um, uh, the yeah. thing is that they're just they're going to keep making them. They're going to yeah. keep making yeah. them. And if I'm honest, when you saw how many people were buying the Hallmark Grogu mm. in the crib yeah, that to pair up with their OG Mando, as well, yeah. I'm surprised Hot Toys didn't go, let's, we've got the moulds, we've got everything, let's knock a load out and sell them. 50 quid or whatever just for that one. Honestly, you know. people, you know, there was that, the, the stand-up little Grogu have been going for over £100 on eBay. Yeah. Like... People were Leave buying the Hallmark ornament for over a hundred pound. Yeah, like, that yeah, that got crazy for like a fifteen quid. They could have asked yeah. for the crib. What they could have done was was split the crib out and had the stand up man had the stand up Grogu, the mm-hmm. the crib from the first series, um, with little Grogu that sits in it, and probably a little fancy stand to put it on. And that you they would have charged you 150 quid and yeah. people would have snapped you around off. They would, they would, yeah. They would have had it. Um so I proved this next one. Yep, looks good. The Stormtrooper Commander. Um this is £163 on Sideshow out October to December this year. Um yeah, I, I pre ordered it because I always pass on troopers. Oh, looks like Pete's gone again. Um yeah, I always pass on troopers purely because um I always just assume they're going to be about, but then what tends to happen is they're not about um, because people buy them <laughs> inevitably uh, and then they end up being stupid amounts of money and I never really want to pay anything over 200 quid for a Stormtrooper really. Um, but this piqued my interest because it's got the pauldron, so you've got a few different options. Um you got the two different weapons, so I can go OG with it if I want to, um, or I can go, you know, modern. Um, and I thought it was pretty cheap. 163 wasn't too bad. Um, and he's back. Ah, Sean. Sean. Man, we what's got going Sean, on? Pete and Sean. Yeah, you're you're not having a good time of it tonight. No, nah, I'll have to uh, check all the cables afterwards. I'll try not to move too much. Because obviously I'm just... Something's upsetting the yeah the cables in the in the thing fine but yeah weird yeah yeah sorry uh, yeah Andre, um I have the old Jedi Patrol Trooper uh, from Hot Toys. This one does look a lot better. Yeah, they were having an interesting talk about that on uh, CW. They were saying about mm. um about it effectively being well. A few of them saying it's, it's kind of a reissue of that, but 
you know, you don't get that giant backpack and things like that. So I don't no. really, and it's a trooper as well. So yeah. they, they, so they I do like this, but I'm not a fan. I, I do prefer the OT um, design to the, to the rogue one um, mm. armor. But obviously, you know, if you're collecting Mando stuff, it's perfect because they've used the Rogue One. Um, yeah, and the Rogue One armor is very similar to Return of the Jedi, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's probably more similar. Yeah, um, it's um, it's kind of like yeah. I think I I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's it, it, really it's the same. It should be the same armor in terms of the 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 the, 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 the movie universe because obviously Rogue One is before. The original trilogy. Yeah, but then the the New Hope trooper arm is different to Empire and Jedi, though, isn't it? Because they they fucked up. Yeah, but that's all the purely or fire or purely from a logistics point of view. I think if you you know essentially it should all be the same armor. Mm. Um, <clears throat> I think with the Rogue One stuff, they obviously just made it how you would make it modern day, probably much easier yeah. to put on to move in stuff like that. So it, it tends to be. <laughs> I tell you what, what I did notice. I was um, I've started going back watching the Star Wars films with my boy. Mm -hmm. So we started off with Phantom Menace, and I think we got our way up to Empire. And he has outright admitted to his mum that he's only doing it to humour me. I don't care. I get to watch Star Wars. Really? That's fine. Yeah. Oh mate. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, he sits there, and you can tell he's enjoying it. <laughs> like, yeah. So I'm be like, okay, whatever. You're loving it. You're loving it. Um. And what I did notice, sitting there watching it with him, throughout the first, well, throughout four and five, the amount of stormtroopers missing bits of armour, shit just falling off them, <laughs> shit just sliding off them. Yeah. There was one, yeah. I think it's in Empire, um, when Vader turns up on the... Um, he turns up somewhere and there's a load of troopers standing there. Yeah. And they all file in, and one of them, one of them files in, and his whole shoulder armor is just hanging off like that, <laughs> See, just flapping about that. the place. <laughs> yeah, and it, and I noticed a few in A New Hope where they would, they just, they were standing there, and suddenly like someone's shoulder armor fell off, or like their whole chest armor is just flapping open, yeah, because they were so shitly made. <laughs> like it's all, it's all part of the awful. charm. Yeah, yeah, and then when I look, then when I look at my New Hope trooper, I'm like. I should just rip bits off this. It'd be far more accurate. <laughs> yeah. So I, th I think. So I think it, 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 it. The design, the redesign reflects, um, you know, better techniques and, and a better yeah. suit altogether. But I would imagine that, um, really, they they're the same. You know, they didn't change that within the the Star Wars universe. They're the same armor. But uh, no, mm. I like it. It's cool. Yeah. I love troopers. They're they're great. I mean, I had, because I bought Bobber, they sent me a code to say, thank you very much, now spend more money. Um, so I think, uh, you know, with the code, this came out about 150 quid for me. So yeah. I thought, 150 quid, it's worth a go. Um, and then, unfortunately, the next day, they then announced this next one that um, I also pre ordered because I want one. Mm -hmm. um, so next up, we have. Sideshow Grievous. Is, um, you've, you've ordered this? It was literally on there for two minutes before I ordered. Um, <laughs> I, I used to have a Grievous. I had one ages ago, back when I had um, Detoffs, and I really liked it. It was just too big for the display cases I had. Now I don't have that problem. Um, but I do have a money problem where I'm not going to spend four to five hundred pounds on it. Um, nope. On off eBay, because that's just ridiculous. Um, so late last night, Sideshow chucked it back up for pre-order. £211 out June to August 2021. Um, instant pre-order. Mm -hmm. Instant pre-order. Um, we're looking at possibly next month this could be out. Um, yeah, that's fantastic. Impressive. Yeah. Uh, now, apparently what they've done... Uh, so on the live booth they had, um, they said the cape was new. Um, and there's a bit of a, an argument at the moment whether or not any of it, anything else they've um, they've done has improved it. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, they should do. Yeah. So Sean says so now the used one should drop big time. Yes, they fucking want to. Um, but I remember when I had this the first time round, uh, it has its flaws. 
it, it can be a little bit hard to to pose because mm-hmm. of the fucking size of it. It's huge, um, and it's you know it's got four arms. It spreads its way out a bit. The arms are swappable, so you can take them out to have the the two prong, the you know the solid arms. Um, yeah. Ah, they said joints to improve than paint today on live stream. Cool. I mean, I think it makes sense, wouldn't would it? Yeah, and and, and yeah. the joints. I mean, you know, how long? When when did this last come out? Twenty thirteen. Yeah, twenty thirteen is what they said. It's stupid yeah. not to just change the joints out if they've you know if, if things have improved. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, that's cool. so for so me, what, um, in, what saber? What color sabers does he come with? He got a couple of green and four sabers. I can't yeah. remember the exact colors, but they're no. all they're all sabers from Jedi killed i tell you what will happen because of this when this is released um you're going to see a lot more posts asking for dooku Mm -hmm. because this would pair really well with the dooku um so i'm kind of kicking myself i don't have dooku (laughs) um but i i was so excited when they announced this i was straight on it yeah um because i think i think shipping on it was 30 odd quid they said and i think you know so i'm looking i'm probably looking at another 60 quid tax on top yeah. um but that's still way yeah. way cheaper than getting it, well, getting um, it online. how tall is he if he's fully standing up massive so he wouldn't i haven't got the exact height on me mm-hmm. but when i had a, a, a deet off you couldn't fit him in standing up you had to have him hunched you yeah. had to have a similar pose to kind of that bottom right one where he's kind of hunched over yeah um it's a tricky one the whole cube it's not only is he tall but he's He's very wide with 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 the saber arms out as well, so it's a it's a tricky one to 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 sixteen inches. Andre mm. thinks, yeah. So it's it's a beast, and it has yeah. so much presence. Uh, mm-hmm. all the, and I think this was probably a good. This was a very good idea because of he's a he's a robot. It looks very very good in a in a real life kind of display. Yeah, as well as an animated. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I think they've. Um, I think they've been very clever here, if I'm honest. Because apparently they they hinted at this back in January and then went completely quiet. So, so would you display him cape or no cape? Uh, when I had him before, I had him without. I think. Mm. Like I quite like just, the cape. So, um, I used to have him displayed with my custom Obi one I had at the time. Yeah. Um. Hello there. Yes. Hello there. <laughs> so yeah because i think i had because he comes with the baton that he has this giant silver baton that one of his like guard yeah, yeah, has. yeah yeah he comes with the four four sabers with the blades in four saber hilts right um the pistol he gets shot in the heart with yeah uh and he comes with i think it was something else but i can't remember what now they haven't reissued the exclusive version so it's just the standard what did that um, have then so he had the burnt out eyepiece. Like okay, the, the, right. the front of the mask came off and just mm-hmm. the new one clipped on. Yeah, it's um, not really, no, not really not a big... About no, no. No, but I'm, I'm absolutely in love with this and I cannot wait to get it. Um, and then at Side... So Sideshow have been very kind to us and they have been... Um, their videos have been quite good from their booth. Yeah. So they showed um, Quill, yep, which Quill, I thought... Yep. If I'm honest, I, I'm not a fan. I don't think the scope looks... See, I think the problem is with a lot of these pictures is they're really overexposed. Yeah, this one you can tell the lighting's really harsh on his face, isn't it? Yeah, so I'd have to see it in a bit more of natural light um, because I wasn't loving it. But, you know, like we said... It's... Yeah, I don't mind it. I think it's... If you shine and, a torch and, in a know... cunt's face, it's going to look like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the people say, you know, <clears throat> will he be a standalone or will they release him with a blurg? Um, so there's options there. Um, I quite like him. It's quite good to have some little little characters. You know, you got Yoda and you have your Rocket and Jawas and stuff. It's nice the, to have a bit of a, a contrast in that. So figures like this are brilliant um, because of the body. Yeah. So the body is is in proportion for a child. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you know, I'm looking at this thinking. Okay, if it's not too expensive, maybe pick two up, and then you've got a body for someone like short round. Yep, yep, definitely. Um, yep. So yeah, there's options there. But yeah, because yeah, um, at the moment the your only real choice is is the um the Harry Potter Harry figures Potter which stuff. I used for my um short round. Yeah, mm. 
Yeah, and they cost a fortune. They do. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, it doesn't it, it doesn't offend me too no, much. I just think no. they need to get the lighting a bit better on them. Yeah, um, definitely. But I think it's better than it. I think it's better than it looks there. Um, yeah, yeah. And then we had uh, Mando on the swoop bike with the child. Uh, yeah. So this is series two Mando. So you see the fire yeah. play. Mm-hmm. Um, again, I, this doesn't. If they released it, it wouldn't offend me. I don't think. That, see, I don't think they would release this as a DX with the bike. Mm. Because the bike's too big, yeah. I think when yeah. you look at some of the the, the vehicles they release with other DXs, like say um, Maul, mm-hmm. the bike's a lot smaller. Yeah, um, yeah. I think I think this will be a standard release, and I think it will probably be quite light on the Series Two stuff. Mm-hmm. I think you'll probably get just him and the bike like this. Yeah, and then you'll get a standalone Series Two Mandalorian, oh, which will come with. Like the head sculpt, the spear, the dark yeah. saber, mm-hmm. all that, all that stuff that, that everyone with a printer has been printing for months. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the things I can't see a lot of people going for a upgrading their Mando to a series two one. Not Just when it's it been so easy to get. Like you've been printing and painting the the, the thigh and the, and the knee pad. Yeah. You know, it's not difficult to get hold of them. If you've already got the best guy one, uh, there's not a lot of point, is there, in, in upgrading? The only the only thing that would make me want to upgrade is if they actually did the armour properly. Because at the moment, right. it's a silver with a very high gloss over the top. So okay. it's not really chrome. No. Um, no. If they did it with a chrome with a chrome armour, I'd be tempted. Mm-hmm. I would be tempted. Um, but yeah, I, and again, the swoop bikes, I've, you know, People have got files from one went on the groups the other day for a hundred pound that someone was selling. Yeah, because they're really quite good. a bit longer than the than the speeder bike, aren't they? Yeah, quite, it's a long, yeah. it's a big old vehicle. And if people are saying the speeder bikes were fragile, look at some yeah. of the tubing on that. Like that's going to be fragile. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, hmm. yeah, you got to be careful, very careful with them. Yeah, uh, and then there was uh, the Bad Batch Hunter. This got a lot of attention. This I would I would be tempted to just take a punt on. Yeah, because um, we've also seen again, the the unmasked one, haven't we? In some of the shots for Echo. Yes. Uh, yeah. Guy with the band. He's like Rambo, isn't he? Red bandana. Yeah. Yeah. Effective. He's every eighties action hero right. rolled yeah. into one. Like, uh, Midnight Resistance. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I, I think it was it's an Echo. I think for me Echo was an odd one to start with. Mm-hmm. I would have thought they'd start with Hunter and then yeah. move on to to Echo. Um, yeah, Scott Bradley, I really want Hunter. Yeah, he's going to be the one that, that people really want. Um, yeah, I tell you what, mate. He sure does look really get, cool with, with the helmet on there. Yeah. Get those animated bad batch yeah. ones you've got on, and it'll be perfect. Um, yeah, so that was the that was the Hot Toys stuff. So these are, the, well, we they had, won't uh, they? Will they ever release them? You know, or yes, do they just join yeah. that list of... Um, the infamous teased and never, yeah, never, you know, which yeah. the Clone Wars Obi Wan still sits in, yeah, not been in use. I was, that, so. I was surprised, if yeah. I'm honest. I thought yeah. they would, they would do that. But mind you, the week isn't over yet. We still got no, no. Friday. It's not. We still got Friday. So yeah, the premium format Vader from. Um, Either a new hope or rogue one. Yeah. Did they specify? Yeah. They didn't did they? No, no, I haven't seen, but obviously from the from the chest box and the um the way the, the robes are on, it's and the glove, it's it's uh, yeah, it's new hope or rogue one. Um mm. looks pretty cool. Yeah. But yeah, I like the look of it. But I think uh, if you've already got the quarter hot toys like you have, which is obviously a fully posable figure as opposed to a statue, mm. then uh, I think that beats this out. But it does look good. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Because I, I, I thought people were saying um, that they they were surprised that uh, like a Mythos Vader wasn't announced and a new an updated yeah. one. Lots of people were saying stuff about a um, a Rebels one, you know, with a broken yeah. mask. Mm-hmm. That would have been pretty cool. But I mean, you know, you, to me, you can never have enough Vader. No. So what's so, interesting is um, that looks like that. I don't know if it, it, the the Vader you've got is it's got a, has it got the light up saber in the same way that the one sixth ones work? Uh, no, it's the actual hilt itself lights up because they're bigger. You you put batteries in the hilt itself. Okay, but it's still just a 
a red blade and the light shining from the yes. from in the hill. Yeah. yeah. So it's um, it's interesting. Because I only I only mention it because I know that um, is it is it M M Y C toys have been that some of the mm. guys have been um, and some of those are coming with the with the CCFL blades now. Um, mm. And I think that would be something good that with the premium format figures or the quarter scale that that was saying they that some of the companies started doing to kind mm. of differentiate them a bit. Um, I don't know whether I, to be honest, I've always thought that they ran really hot, and if you touch them, they but they don't seem to radiate any heat, you know. And I've not seen any. I won't. I wouldn't leave them on when I went out, but then I wouldn't, mm. you know, leave any lights on the <coughs> house. Um, yeah, you probably they are very fragile. Hours and hours. They are, they are very fragile. That's the only thing. But um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see, you know, if, if any of the major um, kind of companies ever go with that, or whether they just stick with these, which are okay. But obviously, the light really dims towards the the end of the blade. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, no, it looks I've good. never, I've never turned my quarter scale one on. I've never put the no. batteries in. Again, I'm just not into light up features. Have you got um, it with the with the lip saber or just with the just with the hilt. At the moment, I don't know if I've is... seen how you got him posed. To be honest, he's there. He is just there, choking the screen, life out of someone okay. with the. Okay, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. With the shore head on, because the shore head's too nice not to show. It is. Um, yeah. Yeah, some sideshow statues use CCFL. Yes. Oh, do they? Actual sideshow ones now. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. It's a way forward. Mm. And then these probably these so these animated six scale figures by Sideshow literally came in and just kicked the shit out of everything else. <laughs> um, this is th these are the moment they're up for pre order. I'm pre ordering. Um, I love the animated look. I love the yeah. bodies on them. Look good. Um, they're fucking fantastic. Uh, there's not, there's not. I haven't got a bad thing to say about these. These are mm -hmm. these are great. I want yeah. them, um, and yeah, I think you know if everyone gets behind these, we will definitely have a, a we we'll definitely have a line of them. Yeah, Mace um, Window would be cool, wouldn't he? Oh, Mace, Mace, Ahsoka. I can see a lot of people if they continue this line, cancelling some of their Hot Toys Clone mm -hmm. Wars stuff. Yeah. Um, just because, to me, and uh, you know, again, like I agree with Dean when he's saying, when you when he thinks of Anakin, when he thinks of Obi Wan, it's not necessarily Ewan McGregor, yeah. Ewan McGregor, right? <laughs> Ewan um, McGregor and uh, Hayden Christensen. It is, it's these two. It's yeah, the animated yeah, versions. Yeah, That's yeah. what I think of. Um, oh yes, and Palps. They do. Mm -hmm. They do. They do Palpatine, um, or Palpatine, as he's known. Yeah. Um, Ewan. <laughs> he's not yeah. Welsh. Um, so, yeah, I absolutely fucking love these. And instant pre-order. You know, I know we have the normal sideshow. Um, ah, yes, I'm just getting to that. Um, if they improve the bodies, these are a whim. Yes, 100%. So, sideshow... I'm not that worried about the elbows not being double jointed. Um, I am worried about them being a floppy mess. Mm -hmm. But then, looking at my, looking at the sideshow figures I do have, so looking at um, looking at my Mythos Obi One, the joints on that are tight. The joints yeah. are tight. I've never had a problem with that. Um, the figures I have got that have loose joints, are like my Clone Trooper, but that cunt's like ten years old. Yeah. Like he will be loose. I'm expecting a certain amount of that. Um but we've got a load of joint juice. So if yeah. I have to, I'll strip them off and work on them. Yeah, because like just... the only ones I've got really, I've got the scout trooper. And he's actually right in my one. I mean, yeah, my scout was trooper awful. was fine when I had it. Um the jar was a shite and that's well known, so I just stripped them down, put a load of joint juice in, and they're fine now, they stand up fine on their but own. At this point they're quite old though, aren't they? They are, they're really old, yeah. So I've got this is a Hot Toys body, right? And it's quite an old Hot Toys body. It's floppy as fuck. Like, they all go like that eventually. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just... It's the way they go. A lot, mm -hmm. of, a lot of the joints are just pressure. 
yeah. so eventually the seams start to go and that's when they start to get loose yeah. so well, I completely agree with you I think I think I've I've found it quite odd that when hot toys have um you know brought out these clone wars but they've got real heads on I, I never understood that because you've already got you know you got your revenge of the sith anakin and and and, and obi-wan mm -hmm. perfect um that's but, why they did realistic. Yeah. Save some money. I know, but these to me make perfect sense because you're, you, when you collect these figures, you want them to look as much like that character and that character looks like this in, in, in that series. Yeah. Um, it's silly, so, to, so, silly to mix them, I, I think. So Hot Toys, um, as soon as they, as soon as they announced that Django, and Cody and all of that. That was it. They they were they were um, they were movie versions. Yeah. Um, and as soon as they announced them, that was it. We were never going to get an animated sculpt from no, them no, no. because there's too much reuse in that Cody sculpt. They just change the hair on it yeah. every five mm -hmm. minutes. Yeah. And they've got yeah. new trooper. Yeah. Make it gaunt. You've got an echo. Stick some fucking metal on it. There you go. Sorted. <laughs> um, yeah. They've already got Anakin. They've already got Obi Wan. They weren't going to go and make new sculpts. You know, Ahsoka. When you think about the so the Clone Wars one is a new one, um, and the Mandalorian is a new one. They will make them once, and we will probably get another version of the Clone Wars at some mm -hmm. point, and we will definitely get another Mandalorian. Um, sorry, we get another live Ahsoka yeah. because she gets her own program. Yeah, so yeah. they would just yeah. reuse mm -hmm. that sculpt again. It's all about reuse. Um, yeah, it's what Hot Toys should have gone for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is, Sideshow have have played an absolute blinder here, absolute blinder, because mm -hmm. they're they're not going to be stepping on Hot Toys' toes. They're doing an animated version, um, and they put the time in to do it. So yeah, I'm I'm loving it, and it would have been really easy for them just to slap their heads on a realistic kind of body. Yeah. Um but yeah. they haven't. They've they've made you know, they've done Just the proportions. Thin, like, the legs are really thin and stuff, yeah. 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 So I'm Yeah, I'm good. loving these. Yeah. 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 And now the now the bodies are available mm -hmm. and the clothing is a is available. Yeah. Um Yeah, and this is a good point. Um the style suits sideshow paint level as well, yeah. 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 Yeah, um, Would you recommend a Mythos Obi one? Yes. Yes, go out now and buy it. Yeah, yeah, um, it's amazing. One of my favourite yeah. figures. If you can get an um, early one, better. Yes. But... I mean, like, even if you get a new one, just be prepared to swap the body out. Yeah. Or just the arms. Get Honestly, if you get the new one, just get a cheap body with a double-jointed arms yeah, yeah. and just swap the arms over. Um, no, I think it's great. When you got yours, I was just like, holy crap, I need to, I need to get it yeah. now. Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. I've it. been after one for ages, and it is a fantastic figure. Absolutely fantastic. A bit um, of weathering so, like we did. Just cut the bottom of the cape up a bit. Get yeah. some weathering powders on it. And... It comes very, very clean. Very yeah. clean. Yeah. So, yeah, shit it up a bit and it's fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. we're at that point in our show where we are. Yeah. We're going to say thank you to our sponsor. And here he is. Only Fools and Collecting is brought to you by Watto's Scrapyard. They 3D print parts for your hard-to-come-by can of vehicles. They 3D print 1 12th and 1 6th scale head sculpts from a massive back catalogue. If there is a particular character you want he can design and 3D print it for you for a reasonable price. Check him out on Facebook and Instagram. So, that's Mr. Watter who's in our chat. Um, <laughs> fantastic guy. Top man. Hit him up. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's animated stuff. Um is amazing and I can't wait to get some more of it and stick it on some of this new side chest stuff. Yeah, like you were saying how awesome. that, that Obi Wan will look amazing on that figure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I you know, clone troopers. Give me some animated yeah. clone troopers and stick that Rex head on. Brilliant. Yep. Um so I thought we would talk about uh Mortal Kombat. Um Yep. Because we both actually got to watch it. Yep. Uh, yep. So we aren't going to go into a, a we're not going to go into a spoiler heavy session now. Um, I don't know what all the hate was about. 
I've noticed a lot of people hating on mm-hmm. this film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't mind it at all. It was no, the, I didn't. The end of the day, it's fucking Mortal Kombat. You leave your brain at the door. I'm not. I'm not expecting a great movie masterpiece. I'm expecting to be entertained and watch lots of gore, which I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I thought the special effects were good. Um, the gore was was great. I didn't yep. mind the new character that just gets his ass kicked. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't mind it in the slightest. I thought it was okay. Um, I liked Sub-Zero. I thought he was a good bad guy. Um, and it was better than the, the film in the 90s. So I don't know what more people could have wanted, really. Yeah, I didn't mind it. I, 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 quite, I quite like I've got a bit of a soft spot for the um, the original one. I kind of find it. It's a. It's, 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 a bit... it's not a terrible film. No, no, no. Um, I thought this one was okay. I thought, as you said, the special effects were good. Um, obviously, Kano was brilliant. He was hilarious. <laughs> Fucking um, carried the film. He was. He was. Um, he was the Mortal Kombat version of you. I think Ian with his his language um, <laughs> and, his, and his attitude. Yeah, he was. I, uh, he was great. I did. I, I honestly, I, he was my favourite character by far. Yeah, um, but yeah, I didn't go in. You know, I, I enjoyed it for what it was. Like you said, I knew what I was getting into. It's all about the mm. fight sequences, um, and it did that. You know, it's a it's a six seven out of ten. Um, but yeah. yeah, it was it was fine. Um, I hope we get more. Yeah, I'd, yeah. It would be good if it wasn't just a one a one stop shop, and then that's it. Because I, I know just they kind of were, made um, Sub Zero like really tough didn't they like he was quite he was one of the you know more powerful um mm. like baddies in it but um yeah, yeah it was alright yeah I know there's okay. uh, these calls for Ryan Ryan Reynolds to appear in the second film okay right has uh has um Johnny Cage okay which I think could be I think that would be quite good yeah if he does yeah um yeah. But yeah, I, no, it's fine, and it, it didn't cost us a penny. No, so, which is handy, you know. It always helps. What? Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah, it always, yeah, it always helps me like the film slightly more. Softens um, the blow. <laughs> yeah, it definitely. does a bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the thing is, so I've noticed now, particularly with with most films, is people expect, like, people expect some kind of Godfather type. Yeah. Um, like level of acclaim mm-hmm. and stuff, and mm-hmm. I just I I don't understand why you would expect something like that from Mortal Kombat. No, like there were lots of people who weren't happy about it, and I was it surprised me because I enjoyed it. It was fun, lots of gore. There were some particularly good scenes with the guy with the giant fucking brimmed hat. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty epic. Um, so yeah, and like Kano was just brilliant um, so the way i look at it i think i, I think i'm sure that i'll be a, 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 um upsetting the the ox father here but i see it in the same way as like the um the michael bay transformers that yeah the plots yes. are ridiculous or non-existent yeah. but the transformers are great the f- battles are great and it's just full-on action and it's fun you know yeah. it, it, it's yeah, it does the, what it does, and the plot's there be. just to get them to the next fight. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I yeah, Goro watch, was I good in it as well. Yeah, 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 yeah well yeah. worth it. I think. Yeah. I think it's definitely, definitely worth it, and hopefully we get some more. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. yeah, there was Mortal Kombat, and then there was obviously because it was May the Fourth. Um, we had the Bad Batch. The first episode dropped, which was about an hour and a half long um yeah and i've been looking forward to this for quite some time um now we're not going to go like we said we're not going to go into spoilers or anything um literally we'll probably talk about stuff that was in the trailers and just just some of our general thoughts on it but i really liked it i i'm a big fan of clone of the clone wars Mm -hmm. i really enjoyed this i'm really enjoying seeing the immediate aftermath of order 66 because I've read, you know, I've read some comics that deal with that kind of time period from the Jedi's point of view. Um, yeah. So it's, it was good. So to we're see running from... concurrently with Revenge of the Sith here, yeah. With the straight after it. Yeah. 
Okay. So right. straight after that's done, um, and this is this is the immediate after mm-hmm. for, aftermath. Um, so, like I say, some comics I've read deal with it pretty much from the Jedi's point of view. Um, they're on the run and they're ditching their their stuff. Yeah. Um, but this this was very much from the clone troopers, and because the Bad Batch are um, effectively defective clones, yeah, they don't necessarily um, follow <laughs> they, orders. Well, they don't. They the inhibitor chip doesn't really work. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So they don't necessarily follow Order sixty six yeah. as they should. Um, but uh, yeah, it was it was absolutely fantastic. I, I was really thinking there was a couple of characters I was going to hate. They didn't bother me. Um, they didn't. So these guys me. Had, had turned up in in the Clone Wars before. Yeah, it was like. So when, do you know when Disney went back and finished off the Clone Wars? Yeah, and they yeah, did that, yeah. That set mm-hmm. of like five or five odd episodes. One of those episodes yeah. introduced the Bad Batch. Okay. Right. Um, yep. So we've seen them before, mm-hmm. and people generally fell in love with them. Then um, they they are a very cool set of clones. Yeah. Um, because they've all got um, mutations, but beneficial mutations, I think they right. call it. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously, Wrecker's fucking massive. And obviously, they, they don't all look the same either. They've got <clears throat> slightly different no. heads. If anything, like. they all look completely different. Yeah. So it's nice to see. And again, <clears throat> it's because of their um, they have different mutations. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think, and obviously, Echo, he's not from the Bad Batch he's a regular right. trooper that's been through from the shit that joined them um, but I'm, re- I'm really looking forward to the, the second episode which I think drops next week I don't think it drops tomorrow I think it's next and are week are they going to be shorter the, like, yeah like so I think the next minute. so the next one is under an hour Okay. Um, and then the third episode's down to like 20 minutes half an hour so mm-hmm. They're starting to get shorter, and I think they're doing eighteen episodes. Okay, yeah, that's quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll come at it from a, obviously from my. I've watched about twenty minutes. Um, I've not like I've, I've said on here the show. I've not watched the the Clone Wars and stuff, and and what I know of it is like kind of what you've told me about. Um, I was enjoying it. I, I think I got a bit taken out of it when that um, the funny little white haired elf like girl came into mm. it, and and she felt a little bit. Like of a kids' character thing, so I stopped there. But I should probably give it a go and watch. The yeah, s- and... stick with it. I mean, like I said to you before, if you get a chance to watch the Clone Wars, yeah, watch it. But you, you can go online and and you can get lists of the important episodes to watch. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, because yeah, yeah. there are there are some episodes because it doesn't run in order. Um, you'll have a you'll have an arc go on. And then right. it would start something else, but that arc okay. could have happened at the same time. Or so they're kind before, of like so it... um, little anthologies of, of different parts of yeah. the Clone Wars. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But there's there's lists that tell you if you okay. watch if you start this episode and work your way through, you'll watch it in a specific order, and, yeah. and it skip out some of the pointless episodes. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, and I don't think you nece- necessarily would have needed to see Clone Wars to have watched this. You, you could have. Yeah. I, I like the fact that it's in, in like proper widescreen as well because I yeah. watch Disney, Disney stuff plus uh, Disney Plus stuff through the projector, so it filled the wall nicely. And I, I like the fact that they're, you know, sticking to that movie yeah. um, ratio for yeah. it as well. And the animation's really well done on it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, Bad Batch. Obviously, everyone I'm imagining everyone who's watching has seen it. Um, but yeah, well worth it. Well, well worth it. So go and take us away, Pete. Yeah, yep. So um, part of the show where we um, give a shout out to our um, Patreon members. Um, you know, thanks for your ongoing support. Um, we couldn't do the show without you. Um, just, just quickly, we're not going to go into too much detail. But um, Zach mentioned about we're starting to kind of um, send some little bonuses out to the um, hosts and. Ian and I have got oh, the first um, show to get out, so thank you very much for that. Um, thank you. Yep. So we've got Ben Porter, Sean Fear, Ian CB, René Mendes, Eric Mariscal, Quinn Aguirre, Leo Hernandez, King Louis, Mark Pearson, Paul Schreiber, James Colley, Dan Lee, Dini Martin, Stephen Krepp, Big Fern, King Zachary V, Susan Maraquin, Mike Cruz, Lisa Martin-Bomonsky, 
Rick Di Gregorio, good one. Alvin Jules, Bola Boyd, Eric Ruiz, Mario Cortez, Stephen Percher, Sean Yautzi, Scott Bradley, Jesse Contreras, Stephen Maria Stanley, Lord Voldemort, Eddie Manzanares, and Joe Corpus. So we had a few few uh, new um, patrons join recently. So thanks for that. And obviously we've had to change the slide a little bit because we ran out of room. <laughs> um, but no, it's it's nice to see that um, you know we 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 continue to grow. Um, you know, we're attracting uh, more subscribers and obviously more people to the um, Patreon. So, you know, we thank you again um, because of you guys. We've managed, you know, pretty much all of the major shows have got proper mics and cameras and everything, bits and pieces. So it just helps us run the show uh, more smoothly and obviously ho hopefully better quality to listen and, and, and watch. So... Thank you. Yeah, well, my bonus went on a new camera after the one packed up last week. So. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and I put mine towards a new uh, monitor, which will help me for work, but also for the show as well. So that's that's great. Um, and Pete's crippling yeah. porn habit. He just needs to well, see the clock slightly bigger on this bigger screen. Yeah, but I mean, you know, you, you don't have to pay for that anymore. That's that's all pretty much. <laughs> oh, for the monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's a twenty-seven inch <laughs> monitor, mate. So I'll be. I'll be burning my retinas out on that bad yeah. boy. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> um, so if, you, if you're not on Patreon and you fancy uh, joining that great bunch of uh, angels, then we've got the Sweet Angel tier, um, which is the basically a sticker sent straight to the door every month, as well as access to Ox After Dark replay, because if, you know, if you don't catch it live, uh, it disappears. Uh, we've got the Certified Crispy tier. This includes an official Certified Crispy certificate on first pledge. And assistant with fig figure fixes by Zach, um, and all the benefits of the previous tier. As we've said before, if you know me and Ian, we, we've done a lot of tinkering and, and modding of figures. If there's anything you guys, um, particularly UK based, if if just ask us, you know, we're always happy to uh, yeah. give our opinion on something or give some advice or what have you. And I, and I have noticed that I've been getting some messages from the guys. So that's good, kind of building up a little bit of a. Um, dialogue there with certain people uh then we've got the water guy which is the top tier uh folks in this tier get a signed collecting weekly live 18 by 24 silhouette poster uh doubles all the stickers we send so you can give them out to all your friends and family and hopefully uh widen our listenership a little bit more and uh our main man ian here will paint one sculpt for you a year once you've been in there for three months so you buy the sculpt you send it to ian ian paints it you pay him to send it back to you and any other customs and charges that you may incur. But as you can see from the, the Watto slides, Ian's done a fantastic job on um, a lot of Watto, all, you know, Watto stuff and, and all sorts of bits and pieces. So uh, that's a good good little perk to have there. Yeah, I think the next Patreon one I've got is Stephen Purchase. Okay, um, cool. Which that? is a animated Ahsoka, which I think I have up here somewhere. In fact, I've got two animated Ahsokas up there to do, but this one, which I'm particularly looking forward to doing, is the next one. So mm. that'll be the next Patreon one I'm I'm doing. Cool. I've got a bit of a backlog that I'm working my way through. Yeah. But I shall get to it. Yep. Yep. We'll get there eventually. Mm. Um, so the the main Patreon benefits we've got the live unboxing stickers. That's kind of like the newest. Uh, well, yeah. Because it came after Ox plays him, and that's changed its logo. So yeah, collecting weekly alive unboxing, um, that's become quite a good little uh, um, addition to the network. Um, Jonathan's been doing a great job of doing a lot of retro unboxings and stuff. So um, I think he's been a great addition to the network. To be honest, I think uh, hmm. um, yeah, been enjoying yeah, your work, John. Our Canadian brethren. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's yeah. I think he's he's he's, he's, he's very good, a uh, good addition to the network, and then we've got the uh, the most sought after sticker that we've ever done, the Dean the Dream sticker. Um, you have a beautiful, sweet angel Dean stuck on your most precious places. <laughs> 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 and if you become a water guy, you can get two of them. Yeah, one so, for each nipple. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, T Public, so we we have a range of. Um, t-shirts that can be bought on their website i notice they also do uh, uh masks and other bits and pieces so um just a selection here collecting weekly ofac uh only fools only fans um mashup 
the original collecting week in the Star Wars version. Um, the old Ox plays, there's a new Ox plays on there. The Godzilla King Kong, Retro Small Talk, In and Outs, Fuck That Guy, Creeps Are Us, Auxiliary, and the Gooch Grease. Um, yeah, they're, they're, we've we've had a few. Um, they've got a sale on at the moment, so <clears throat> if you fancy wearing a bit of uh, CW merch. merch, get yourself on there, and uh, I'll let you take take you through the uh, rest of the network. Yeah. So th- this is the ever growing network, um, mm-hmm. which we are we're contractually obliged to swear allegiance to every morning, um, <laughs> in our pants. So yep, we have yep. uh, small talk, which we've we've you know been encroaching upon their turf. Um, yeah, we 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 we've, don't we just dabble, just just the, dabble. the odd thing that you know catches we're our eye. Just we're dabblers. Yeah. We like to yeah. dabble. Um, yeah. So yeah, they they generally do the the smaller stuff, um, collecting weekly. Which is the the mothership? Um, yep. That's Zach and the boys who are on every week. Uh, OFAC, which is us, um, which is often considered the jewel in the crown. Yeah. Um, collecting Definitely. rarities, which I'm loving. Like they they do some really out there stuff. Um, I, I think Zach was on the other week with keyboards. Yeah, I, I haven't didn't seen that know, one yet. Didn't know keyboards were, and <laughs> I don't mean like musical keyboards. I mean actual. Clickety clack typing keyboards, me- mechanical gaming mechanical keyboards, aren't they? Yeah. Gaming keyboards, yeah. I didn't know it was that complicated. To me, I've always just keyboard. Yet yeah, five of that, I do bang away. I go. Yeah, yeah. Did not. <laughs> no. Wasn't even aware no. of the. the I did look at something. They could get quite expensive. Yeah, yeah, big time. So yeah, that they were they were talking about that. Um, the joy hobby. I think Zach did one. Um, just bef- just, just before, before show, we came yeah. on. Mm-hmm. Uh, in and out to collect him. Um, they're they're doing a bit of absolutely everything, and, and yeah, they're doing really well. Yeah, um, Mario some, that one. That's, that's yeah, that's some really cool show. statue stuff mm, on yep. there, which has been mm-hmm. good. Yeah, collecting weekly live unboxing. Like I said, John's been doing a few um, of kind retro. of the retro yep. type stuff, yep. which has been yep. really good. Um, After dark, which is pure filth. Um, yeah, definitely. It's quite tame, really, but yeah, they're, they're after dark. That's my plan to get on there at some point. And that See, was not I, I, so bad because that could probably be about six o'clock in the morning for us if they're so doing about midnight. A lot of the time they're on when I wake up. Yeah. So that's not too bad. I no. mean, the thing is, I'd love to be on more shows, but I just yeah, I know. can't be doing it's, the whole It's difficult for us because, I mean, the yeah. other way around, if they've got the afternoon off or something, or, you know, they can come on our show and it's not too bad. But for us, I mean, I went on CW the other week, but yeah, I mean, that was a. I had to plan that <laughs> and set my alarm, and uh, you yeah. know, but um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I haven't been on After Dark yet, so I'll try and get on there. And I'd like to get on mm. In and Outs as well. I've been on one small talk, so I'm ticking them off. Um, I think I've been on Collecting Weekly. Yeah, yeah. Well, we did that's our very first it, one was wasn't there, wasn't it? The Here come the British. The British mm. are coming. Was well, it was a CW one, wasn't it? We did before we yeah. started our own show. Um, it was back in the day. Oh, um, long, long time ago, mate. A very long time ago, yeah, yeah. And then we got um, Ox Plays, which they, you know, play a weird role-playing game with where one of them's a policeman, and yeah, it all gets a little bit oddly sexual. Um, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they've been and they've at, been doing and at that. At the moment, it's mostly um, uh, Zach flying around over the deserts of America in his little plane. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> So yeah, it takes about an that. hour to get there. You know, it's it's all in real time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. Uh, here you go. We need to do a scribble, yeah, scribble, yep. little sesh, drawing set. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, definitely. I'll be up for that. I can draw a cock as well as the next man. <laughs> not a problem. Yeah, every one of Ian's will just be a cock, no yeah. matter what the what the actual clue is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, cocky McMollocks. <laughs> so, so yeah, that that is us. That is that's the network. Yeah, long pro- may it long may it rain. Yeah, um, definitely, definitely. Yeah, so I think we've had a pretty good show today. If I'm honest, I, yeah, I think we've yeah, been, it's been good. We've been truly sport with some of the upcoming pre-orders. Um, definitely. When I, I just like sport, to say that I'm very disappointed with the Star Wars um, releases uh, pre-orders. That there's nothing from the OT. They could have given him something, but no. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, the thing is, I, when you look at some of the OT stuff they've shown in the past, like mm-hmm. you know, not you know, we forget about Bez being 
Han because I'm sick yeah. of any time any time sideshow show anything or any time anything's ever shown it's just Bespin Han Bespin Han Bespin Han right I can't be asked with it make your own it's not that hard mm-hmm. just yep. yeah, make yeah. your fucking own at this point because yep. even if tomorrow they turn around and said that they were going to be releasing it you've got another year two years before it yeah, actually yeah, comes definitely. out yeah yeah so but yeah I I thought we might we might at least get a Bespin Luke Mm. Yeah, um, something would have been. Shown it, it in the past. Yeah, even if it was a figure that I didn't necessarily need or or, or or want, it would have been nice to have some representation because I get that the Mandalorian's you know hot property and also the the animated stuff, but um, yeah, there's still plenty of figures to, <laughs> to come from. Yeah, I saw that. Um, <laughs> I've got. I'll have to died. watch that. And you almost died. have you have you recorded? Did you record that one? Yeah, that's be funny. Yeah, I'll have to watch it. <laughs> I'd have to watch it. Probably virtually flew over my house. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I, I must admit, I, th- I thought there probably should have been some more original trilogy stuff. Yeah. But then yeah. They, they're getting pretty thin on the ground with it. What, they what are. Else would, what else yeah, would you want? Yeah, I mean, there's they've, they've, there's only a few, there's a few key figures to hit, like we've mentioned before. Um, It'd be nice if they kind of, you know, did like a Greedo maybe or or something like that. Um, I tell you, what I would be surprised at is looking at how popular Grievous has been. If Sideshow then went back through their back catalogue and went right, Greedo, let's reissue that. Yeah. It would set like that. It would. It would. Go. He goes for stupid um, money. The, the Gamorrean Guards. If, Gamorian yeah, guards. if they went through, yeah. did the Gamorrean Guards, Jubax, yeah. Yeah. even if they mm-hmm. went through and started doing clones again, they would make a yeah, fortune. they would. They would. We've got yeah. to remember, they're sitting on a massive back catalogue of stuff. Oh, he didn't you post know. it because he was, it was an awful flight, apparently. Oh, no. Well, that's fucking disappointing. I would have uh, I would have watched that. <laughs> but he's got but, it. Yeah. It sounds like he recorded so he can send it to you for a private yeah. viewing. <laughs> yeah, just to watch him crash. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I looking at how popular Grooves has been, I would be surprised yeah. if Sideshow. I mean, Sideshow would miss a trick if they didn't jump on some of their back catalogue. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. It's better than nothing. Definitely better than nothing. But uh, yeah, yeah. Mm. But hopefully, hopefully they'll they've not given up on the OT completely. We've got no. we've currently got two two pre-orders left which is Lando and uh, Snowspeeder Luke and that's all that's out there at the moment for <laughs> yeah cool all right well yeah. i think that's just done then isn't it mate yep that yep. is it cool it is. right well it is a buy from me yeah a buy from me see, see you, you later. next time cheers bye bye